Before there was reason, there was madness. It was the morning of the inauguration of the Silver Wing Circle. I'd already found my way there. To my accommodations to be most hospitable. I will have you know that I did not know that this day would be the day that everything would come to an end. To a head. My powers of prognostication are not that though. But I knew that it was coming soon. I would need to be ready for it. That morning, I put on my finest tie, the most comfortable of robes. I drew my hood over my head. It was the one with that jewel in the center of it that I really liked. You'd have liked it too. I don't know what possessed me to wear that particular outfit, but I knew that whatever was going to happen, I would need to be ready for it. But of course, momentous days do not always start with momentous days. And some of the most innocuous questions are what lead to the deepest answers. This morning, Atlas was going to ask a couple dwarves a couple questions. Far be it from me to pry, listen in, and see what was happening. So, Atlas, you arrive at the door uh, of the uh, of the uh, accommodations that you've set up for the two Dwarven delegates. Uh, one for Rildenthar and one for Desenia. Which one would you like to speak with? Uh, let's go with Desenia. Desenia, all right. Uh, you knock on the door. There's a bit of a pause, uh, and then you hear a, ah, come in. Atlas is going to enter. Uh, as you do so, uh, you see that Desenia and Bruldenthar are sitting at a table, and they are playing some form of dragon chess with each other. Oh, uh. Atlas, uh, what can we do for you? Yes, um, I had a pressing question that I wanted to ask both of you. So it is fortuitous that you are in the same room. By all means. And Brodenthar just uh, looks up and says, well, uh, You've come to my assistance. I uh, to refuse you. What, what is it? Uh, what is it you want to know, uh, Mr. Zinga? So, an informant mentioned that plans that these cult groups were trying to put into place were sped along by or perhaps your presence and their access to the two of you or any of the others of the delegation seems to have hastened their plans and made it move ahead a lot faster. Um, and I was rather curious if you were aware in any way of why that may be that your influence or presence was able to do such a thing. Uh, they look at each other for a second, too. Uh, Desenia says, well, I, I don't know. I was 
too busy in a cage being tortured. They didn't get anything out of me other than physical exertion. Uh, what about you, Brew? And Brunthar sits back a bit and puts his beard. Well, uh, well, they didn't ask me a lot of questions about Bludgeon Ball. I can tell you that right now. Um, they were more interested in my knowledge of Dwarf Ruins and, and Tiara Basil, actually. They were uh, interested in the Dwarven perspective of history and as well what legends of any sort we found. In particular, they asked a lot of very specific questions that I'm not sure I could really answer for them. Um, but they seem to be very interested in um, a specific section of the city, um, the waterways and the like, as well as um, they were uh, asking a lot of questions about, um, just give me a second. <laughs> um, as well, they, they, they were looking towards questions about um, the, the setup of dwarven barracks and military structures, um, but not from the standpoint of invasion, but more how they would be laid out, what kind of traps we would set, uh, that sort of thing. Hmm. And what were you able able to tell them? Well, I gave them, you know, what little information I can. I'm not in that sense, and I'm definitely not an arch. You know, I'm not into architecture. That's not my forte. Um, but um, you know, I let them know, you know, the broad strokes about what would you would expect in a historical dwarven ruin around that time period and you know I wasn't exactly in a position to refuse them in for of course out of character did you have somewhere where the spelling of that dwarven ruin city of uh Give me a second. Oh, bu -bu -bu -bu, making sure that I have it spelt right. Uh, because I know spelled ways by the internet. Because I called am. Tickle Rock? It is not <laughs> called Tickle Rock. Okay, if you say so. It, I don't it think it's going to be called be Tickle called Rock. Never will do anything. Do you want to change the name of our homestead, Tickle Rock? Do you think? <laughs> Good news, Red Larch. We've taken you over. You're now called Tickle Rock. Tickle Rock. <laughs> okay, if you don't there have something it. called Tickle Rock and down below now, I swear to God, <laughs> I'll get on that. Hey guys, we're going to the Tickle Rock now. The Tickle Rock is actually a fun level. I love it. You shouldn't. It's a fog lab of horror. <laughs> but I bet it would up their um, visitor intake. That is a bad thing. <laughs> well, it depends who you are. <laughs> the living? <laughs> You're always on the side of the living these days. Wow. Excuse me for not being a necromancer. Only when he's a player. <laughs> or a cannibal. Listen, you've got a necromancer on your team. He's necromancer adjacent. Adjacent. Still counts. Exactly. Anyway, still I'd... counts. Slight High five. Um, yeah. So the spelling of Tiara Basil is in dice scale. Cool. Um, and Atlas is just going to 
think for a moment and then ask. I believe that we asked only to Fenya, but Roldendar, do you recall seeing the last time you saw any of your other delegates? Um, or do you believe any of them might still be alive? Perhaps I with could. a different... I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Um, I just know that the uh, black group took them uh, away. Okay. Um, but that might be because they do have architectural expertise that I don't. Um, that would indicate to me that maybe they had TR so, and that lines up very well with what we assume to be where where Cherubis is physically located. And where has it been surmised that it would have been located? Well, I mean, it's obviously where we're from, and we figured it'd be somewhere between uh, between Belliard and Quincung, so exactly where we haven't been able to uh, narrow it down as such. I see, I see. You said the last, the ones that you, your delegate, uh, fellow delegates, had more knowledge with architecture were taken by Black Earth as well. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay. Whether they're still with them or not, I couldn't tell you, but mm -hmm. uh, they were they were taken elsewhere, and I could not. Well, that is good to know. I do appreciate that. That at least tells us a little more about perhaps their intentions, and. And you did inform, you had told them, or did they already have the knowledge that uh, of where you you all believed Tirabasil was located? Uh, they actually, um, it's funny you should mention that, they didn't seem to be asking me questions to find it. Okay. Um, their questions were more along the way, what to do after it's been found. I see. My guess is they were, they had found it and that they had encountered something and they were getting as much information as they could to safely handle it. Yes, that does sound like the most likely case. Yeah. Either that or they were looking for something in it. But finding it, well, that, that was not on their list of questions. But it does kind of make sense of sitting here questioning why they would take us. Well, it seems to make sense, I guess. Indeed. I do appreciate that. Um, if you don't mind, I will go and impart this information to the rest of my group. Please continue with your Dragon Chess game. Uh, sure. Uh, thank you for your time. And I hope you, uh, I hope you get our friends back. And we wish you, wish you well with that. Thank you. And the same you... nods and says, "Me the." May the blessing of the Tempest be upon you. Atlas just nods and then exits the room. All right, so you do so.
yeah, and the only other thing he had interest of doing was to show his scar on his palm to dance it at some point, but that does not have, need to happen now if it doesn't seem pertinent. All right. And I assume you... I'm sorry? I assume you wish to impart this information to others. Yes. Who do you wish to impart this information to? Everyone. <laughs> He's going to call a meeting. All right. You call a team meeting in your meeting hall with your nice table, got some decent chairs happening there. Um, as you get to the meeting hall there, Atlas, uh, you can see that um, that August is currently having a little bit of a conversation with um do 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 give me two seconds I am finding the names that he's having the conversation with did I not write this I did okay uh he's having a conversation with an Asden um and Basically, they're saying that they're yeah, they they're saying that they're done uh, their upkeep of both your uh, cart and the uh, the minstrel wagon, and that they should be ready to go. Uh, new wheels, new struts, everything. Uh, they are fit for travel once more. Um, though, do be careful with the minstrel wagon. It is not meant for the abuse that you've put it through. Esden, dear, they're doing it to save us. Please don't be like them. Try to show it some more respect. <laughs> um, they chuckle a bit because they know that it's not a serious matter because they know that you guys are, you know, they're not, it's not serious, right? Um, and it's that point that Atlas arrives and calls for the meeting. And who wishes to arrive at the meeting? Uh, Wickham will show up because he supports his family. <laughs> August will, uh, you know, say goodbye to Asden and Pistola and head over. Yeet. We'll also come from outside, and she probably smells like horses. <laughs> she definitely smells like Wickham will probably and... spend the time pulling hay out of her hair. <laughs> and probably pine straw. Precious. It's been a long time to get it right. Your crown will be there, too. Not smelling like horses. <laughs> Ooh, just walks into the room. What smells like horse in here? <coughs> Glenn raises her hand. <laughs> oh. You had to ask? Well, I brought you all here. I went and spoke with the delegates in our care. Saruki informed August and I just recently that the cults were um, their plans have been escalated uh, due to the influence or the presence of the delegates and the time that they were they had access to them in some way and so I spoke with the delegates to find out if they had any clues as to in what way their presence did so. Um, and Broldenzar informed me that while he was captive, they did question him about the Dwarven ruins, specifically Tirbasil. 
but they were not asking where this ruin is or is it real is it true they were more interested in trying to find out what kind of waterways the city implemented uh, what the blockades and other military uh, installations or uh, organization of their military had been like. And his theory is that perhaps they have already found the ruins of Tirbasil and that they came across something that had halted their progress or that they needed to get to and were trying to find ways. Um, some of the other delegates, the last he had seen of them was being taken away by the Black Earth cult. They were taken elsewhere and he doesn't know their fate. However, those delegates did have more architecture knowledge compared to Broldenthar's knowledge of bludgeon ball. And perhaps finding Tirbasil should be one of our goals. So you want us to find an ancient hidden city? Well, well they did. if they have already, then we're a step behind. And if we want to stop whatever it is they plan to do there, or are doing, that would be uh, the best course of action. Broldenthar already said that uh, they had already believed that Tirbasil is somewhere between Belliard and Quincunx. And I do believe the Senya had told us that Part of the reason that they agreed to meet with Quincunx was not really for the Legend Ball, but because they were using that as a reason to search for the ruins. So if the delegates are already intending on it. Well, how do we find out where these ruins are then? Do we know anyone that might know? I mean, we might. Saruki? Would he have an in with these people? I mean, he's one of the bad guys, isn't he? Or at yeah, least but he Steve. kind of turned into our bad guy. Well, I mean, he's still, like, with them, just being sort of a double agent of sorts. Yeah, he's I mean, our he might, inside he might have an insight on it, but I know that he also mentioned that the alliance with the Black Earth and the Howling Hatred has crumbled. So it just depends on if they found it before or after. And the alliance between the other. Yeah. And the water cult also deteriorated, yeah. and everyone's underground tunnels oh, have all been. Hatred. That's right. Uh, have all been shut down and blockaded. So no one can get to the others. Um, which made me think that their questions about the military and the blockades might also be, it might be twofold or that they need to get into the city, but they also want to know how they can defend it from the others once they are in. If perhaps all of the cults are all trying to get to Tirbasil for some reason. We could also, uh, I do believe, I can't remember if Alcazar was there, or no, I don't think Atlas was there for when Alcazar explained. Or no, yeah, he was. Um, I believe Alcazar and... And Suthian, um, they mentioned that they were working with Quincunx on, like, in on the front end, Quincunx thinks that they are working 
to reconnect with the delegates. So perhaps they might have some knowledge on what the delegates' true intention had been and, oh. or at the very least, might have their own contacts or inside knowledge on the the ruins. Look, I'm just going to raise his hand. I have another idea. Yes, Wick? The, um... The magic man that recently came to us because if your mentor dude is gonna point at August. I don't remember his name, but I'm bad with names. The dude that's got like magic foresight shit. Maybe he could use his magic foresight and locate a haunted city. Uh, it's as you oh, mentioned God. that that a certain dark elf um just entered the room. Um, holding on to a bowl and munching on cereal and looking up as you talk about it. And I'm sorry, did I come at a bad time? No. Jesus. No. You can't just walk in there like that. I mean, he can. Not at all. He's staying here now. I wasn't aware the room was closed, and I do apologize. I didn't know you were here. Sorry. <laughs> Well, I literally just walked in the door. Didn't know you were still here. He doesn't have uh, foresight abilities. Well, that's fair. No, it is not actually... You're not interrupting. We actually were interested in getting your opinion on something. And... No, that explains why I'm here then. Please, indulge me. Are you aware of the Dwarven city, Tirbasil? Mm. No. So the name is familiar. I heard it somewhere. Do you think you could use your super cool magic powers and maybe, I don't know, put chalk on a map and direct us toward it? I can definitely uh, try something. Um, it will take me a little bit, but I'm more than glad to apply my powers for your benefit in that regard. Fred. Um, I'm going to go and, I guess, do that after I finish breakfast. Yeah, breakfast is important. Finish that first. Also, Glenn, how do you have pine cones in here? I don't know. That sounds like Clippy Cloppy's fault. Got to stop throwing those things at these horses. Well, when they fight, someone's got to do something. And they don't listen to reason, so I've resorted to pine cones. <laughs> and Dan's is just sitting there, just eating his, his breakfast, just chuckling a little bit. Well, fortunately, I have my material components. I brought those with me, so I won't be requiring any other supplies from you for this. That is reassuring. Um, yeah. The reason for looking for them is it, we uh, are being led to believe and suspect that all of these cults are in some way trying to gain access to this ancient city and we are we fear that they have already found it which puts us at a disadvantage on stopping whatever they have planned well i mean uh, that's definitely a good reason to ply my trade um i appreciate that uh I'm just going to go get my magic mirror, and then, and as he's talking, the doors are thrown wide. Um, and you see a cleaner cut ardent. Um, I'm just he's already wearing, standing with the guards. He's wearing, um, he's wearing much, uh, you know, a nice clean set uniform that's been recently uh, designed for him with a silver 
cloak with the symbol of the silver wing circle oh. on the back of it. And with him is a middle-aged human, uh, a wiry, uh, dark-haired man, a little bit of stubble on his chin, gray streaks in his hair. Um, and at his side, uh, he has a pair of hand guns. Uh, yes, it's the first time you've seen this outfit. Oh, maybe this would be inappropriate. Someone has guns. Um, yep. You did say he has hand guns, though? He has hand guns. Okay. <laughs> Glenn was going like to clap and ask, or I request Arden to do a spin, but I feel like this might not be the appropriate time anymore. Um, he says, I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, please, uh, 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 Yannick, Tell them what you told me. And the man comes forward. Um, August, I want you to roll me a intelligence check, please, with advantage. All right. Oh, with advantage. So we're going to roll these two together. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Mm. Not much better than the other one. Okay, what's my intelligence? Mm. Should be good though. Okay, Glenn, where are you? Intelligence, you're plus three. Mm -hmm. Ten. Ten? Okay. Only a ten. You I only rolled do, a ten and a five. You do not recognize this man from the monsters. Or from the soldiers that the monsters have reassigned to you. Mm-hmm. But he is wearing the same silver cloak um, that uh, Ardent is wearing. He says, all right. Um, there's not a lot of time for me to explain. We got to go. Um, me and Yisrael, uh, we were assigned as a, a, a caravan guard contingent. And uh, we were escorting a... Uh, a glass blower uh, out of Billiard along the northern path uh, towards Red Larch. Um, we got about uh, two hours out uh, by slow travel, and uh, we started to uh, feel the rumblings of an earthquake. Um, and um, standard operating procedure, as we were informed by uh, Sergeant Ardent here is that if you see any sort of element of weirdness, that you're supposed to send your scout for, send them to safety, get help, get them back there before any gets struck. struck. Um, Yisrael stayed behind, uh, possibly to defend them against any assailant. But, um, yeah, um, that, that's what I'm here to report. Is it, do we know if it's normal for earthquakes to occur in that area? No. So I think it's definitely worth looking into, if that makes sense to the rest of you, as she looks to her compatriots in their meeting hall. Uh, not only is it not natural, if it were real earth, we would have felt it here too. Hmm. Cool, Yoli, I'm out. Uh, we're just going to yeah. go and get his gear. All right. Um, I have a question. Do this is out of character. I assume we're taking our wagon. How many horses can we hitch to our wagon? Uh, if you use your wagon, it's mm -hmm. your wagon. It's five. Sorry, you cut out. How many for ours? Two for your wagon. Five for the other. Two. Because I don't know if we should take the big one. What do you guys think? I don't think we should take the big one. Yeah. So pick two. All right. I'll, unless someone has a really strong opinion, I'm going to look. Granite, since we're going to Earthquake. Yeah. Granite and... Granite and whoever. Not, um, not Pacholi. <laughs> August runs off to go get his stuff. <laughs> never, <Wow>. never Pacholi. <laughs> uh, Char would be good. Okay, so 
Um, Glenn's stuff is probably, to be honest, in the stable, so she is going to go out there and gather her stuff and ready Char and Granite because now she has proficiency with land vehicles and she could probably do that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, while you're doing that, uh, Ardent is um, uh, gathering together um, some extra men. Uh, he and Yannick are already at front, and they've grabbed uh, three other soldiers as well. And um, we, did you guys see anything else? We get an entourage. Rumble. Uh, Arden says, "Yeah, these are. This is standard operating procedure. If they see anything hinky, supposed to go in and investigate." And uh, with a show of force, if necessary, we're not taking any more fucking chances with these cult people. No, oh, makes sense. We're just—I was just asking if you saw anything else. Uh, yeah, says no. Um, I uh, orders are not to stick around. Um, orders are to get help and then find out information later. We're operating under a no. Uh, you know, no benefit of the doubt rule um, for maximum caravan safety. Fair enough. I'll make sure the caravan and the people are safe. Wolfram's going to show up in his armor with his weapons and wearing a flower crown. Amazing. Oh, it matches Glenn's. <laughs> uh, as you... Papers. What was that? Right. Um, sorry, go ahead. No, Glenn was just saying quietly, mine is mostly burrs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, they were going from Belliard to where? They were going to Red Large. Oh, they were, Red Large. They were going... Yeah, they were going, taking the north road west. across Stone Bridge to the west oh. and then to the south, yeah. Oh, the scary-ass um, bridge. The big, yeah. long bridge. The yeah. awesome bridge. That bridge goes straight down. I don't care what anyone says. I mean, most most bridges do. That's why they exist. <laughs> it's the bridges that mean, are like a, right. like a long flat land. Those are the bridges. Those are just like those aren't even bridges. Those that just bridge like, has a ninety flat. degree drop. I don't care what. Else. <laughs> anyway, I mean the lack the lack of handrails is concerning. <laughs> um. So yeah, uh, you gather them together, and uh, as you uh, get to the cart, uh, Arden is given a pet talk, he's briefed them, and then finally he just leads the chant, not one, not one more, not one more, not one more, let's go, men. I didn't teach them that. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> And they get into the uh, back of the cart, too. We can wheel drive. That was right. going to ask Glenn to test out her new abilities. Well, do you want to drive, Glenn? Well, I don't have to. I mean, we are going somewhere scary, potentially. If you want to be the one in charge this time, that's okay. How about while we're going, you can tell me if you think I'm not going fast enough? Never going fast enough. <laughs> what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, make me a charisma check with proficiency, Rick, because you're trying to motivate these horses to go fast. Okay. What am I doing? Uh, charisma with my proficiency. Ooh. Yeah. Uh. Not good. That is a nat one. No. So, four. Oh. Okay. All right. Um, you, you, you start to, to, to go with the horses, and they start to go fast, and then you hit a bump, and suddenly your desire to go fast, and you're like, 
wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's check in. This cart can't handle it. It's, it's, we we got to take care of it. Um, and so in your panic, you kind of slow down a bit. I'm going to the give the reins to Glencora. And as with advantage, takes the rain, she is going to. Oh, I didn't take advantage. Oh, well then, do that. Well, you didn't get advantage, so. Okay, that's what yeah, I was asking. I, mean, I couldn't like... remember if you said proficiency or advantage when you said that. Uh, proficiency, not advantage. Okay, cool. Uh, would you like to make a charisma? There, Glenn. Um, I was going to say, as if I'm allowed to, as Glenn was being past the range, she is going to mutter a few words under her breath and set guidance on herself. You can okay. absolutely do that. Sorry, I kind of got cut off. Or, like, you know. I got confused. No, no, that's absolutely fine. Um, and sorry, what check? It'll be uh, charisma plus your proficiency bonus. Okay. Of guidance. Hold on, me. Fourteen. Fourteen. You have spent all day with these horses, and they love you because you decided to ply them with all of the apples and even a few sugar cubes. So the yeah. second you're behind the reins, they're all ready to go. They're like, we are well-behaved horses. This is absolutely perfect. All right, let's go. Go, boys. And everything that Wick taught you about how to fast without hitting bumps like Wick just did, um, you have taken under your wing and are applying in a very real situation. Woohoo! For once, Wick ain't on it. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's had, he's, 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 he just woke up. It's, yeah, it's been a morning. He hasn't had breakfast yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming he's bringing breakfast, though. Oh, obviously. It's Wickham. Yeah, like, when does Wick not have breakfast? When he's been rushed out of the house. Yeah. I mean, I don't mean not have had breakfast as it needed. I mean, when does Wick need? not oh, have yeah. a <laughs> breakfast on him? Fair, 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 fair. Yeah. Wick probably has tomorrow's breakfast on him as a spare breakfast. Just I mean, case. if nothing else, he has, um, like, pastries from the from his, um, baker. The butteriest of pastries. Never-ending supply at this point. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you go through town, um, while well, Glenn, uh, drives the horses as you're way through, Wick is just calling, get out the way, emergency, and everyone just passes through, because they know that when you guys are on the run, that they do not want to get in your way. I'm Whatever also it is you're doing is exceedingly important. All right, go ahead. Well, I just said I'm also waving. Yeah. Cause they're our friends too. Yep. Uh it'll take a little bit of travel to get there. Um does anybody have anything they want to say in the back of the truck? Is it on the west road or the south road that they experience this? West road. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, that's good <laughs> waving. Are we gonna take the shortcut or the through the, the hills or are we just gonna go straight? Uh they're go it's it's an hour out along the the the, the road, so going through the hills would be in that direction. It would be in that direction or it would be the wrong direction. Wrong direction, okay. So it's an hour out. So it's between it's after that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they were on the west road, but they were like an hour out, so more between that one town where so W Y R. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is a bit of nervousness in the back of the cart amongst the soldiers. Huh. It's um kind of the anticipation. Um, so, you said Arden's not with us? Arden's with you, yeah. Oh, okay. 
Who's raiding the brojo? Probably one of the employees that we hired. <laughs> uh, yeah. Or it's um, closed his... for today. The the brojo is being manned by Bro, who is like the first guy that they just grabbed. They're like, you, can you be the place? I don't even live in this town. Can you do squats? Yeah. yeah? We're babysitting this place. Got oh, a job. Okay, I guess. <laughs> It's a tough hire. No, nah, it's, it's clippy clippy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the mayor. It's the mayor. Yeah, it's the mayor. It's just the All cat right, anyway. sitting in the porch licking themselves. Best Atlas uh, is looking around at the 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 tension in a lot of the soldiers and just goes. Is this going to be a first time encounter for many of you? Um, a couple of them shake their It's not that. Mm. It doesn't matter if it's your first or tenth time. It's always going to be that bit of nervousness. We're not stone cold killers. I suppose we, we can't all be. Into. Yeah, we don't know what we're getting into. Wickham's going to lean back a little bit and just say, think of it less as killing and more keeping other people alive. Mm -hmm. You do what you need to do to protect those who can't yeah. fight for themselves. Uh, at that, Yannick says, yeah, well, that doesn't help me and my worries, unfortunately. I'm I'm worried about Yisrael. We'll get there. We'll get to his aid and hope that her. Oh, her them. Her. Yeah, she's uh, she's my sister. She's the one I've left behind. Mm -hmm. A scout. Mm, no, she's a oh. vanguard. She's uh she stayed behind to defend the caravan itself and keep them until we get there. Okay, well. Hopefully um, her training's been well, done well and taught her well and she's been able to hold off whatever she needed to. Or hide. Well, she and I have been in the caravan girl business for quite a long time now. Um Uh, uh, it was this actually this whole thing was her idea. Um, we were sitting in the tavern there, and um, the the sergeant was coming in and you know talking about the what you guys were doing with the silver silver wing circle and. Uh, Israel said, you know, what happens if caravan guards were to kind of connect with that and help each other and, and create kind of a network in case one gets attacked? And then everyone can defend them. Then everyone's safer as a whole. And we'd spend the night kind of drinking together and talking. And Israel worked out this system where we'd you know we'd uh we'd still do our jobs as caravan but if attack we'd send someone we'd send the one of us who can ride the fastest myself to go get help and well the one that can defend the the, the tavern the, the, the caravan the best would stay behind and keep them alive until we reinforcements arrived so I understand well, yeah, it's a great help and noble ambition. I, I hope she's holding up well. We'll find out and we'll come to her aid. Well, to be honest, this whole system didn't <laughs> it didn't rely on this level of cavalry coming, and uh, I can definitely say that it's definitely encouraging.
was expecting at most like a half dozen, not but a small battalion of heavily armored badasses. We're kind of a disaster squad, so you know. So the so the rumors say. I don't know. We've made it just fine so far. One's gonna shout over her shoulder. Clearly unbothered by it. Feeling confident they can accomplish anything through friendship. Meanwhile, Wick's having, like, grandfather flashbacks and <laughs> August having internal werewolf moment and... <laughs> and then we have Aerocron's life is like a there we go. There's some nice little uh, August content for you. Uh, in, oh, wait, never mind. You can't see that. <laughs> I put that in my secret place. Let <laughs> dice jail where everyone can see it. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> There we go. Yep. Um, yeah, we're doing fine. Yeah, so while well, they were about an hour, right? you guys are right. It doesn't take that long to get closer to the scene. Um, is there any preparation that you'd like to do before you arrive? Or anything that you'd like to do before you arrive? I have a javelin at my feet within ease reach in case I need to throw it. I hear typing. <laughs> I didn't want to say that out loud because I knew you'd make it real. Um, Glenn is going to uh, grab her, well, make sure her shield and sickle is at the ready for when and if they have to stop the cart and get out. And she is going to precast guidance on herself again. Okay. Same thing. Shield and sword. Okay. Uh, taking the cue, the other soldiers get themselves ready and their weapons at the go. Um, Atlas puts away his millipede. Smart move. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need Can't. this right now. If I don't know if I'd be able to do this, but uh, could I ready an action uh, to cure wounds to if we run up on any injured, uh, anybody injured or any villagers that need um, like first responding to? You could, but that wouldn't really work well with the like the round structure because you'd get your turn back up again before you would be able to do that. Okay, but you, you, you I'm, Aircon's more worried about people hurt than yeah, the yeah, fighting. Yeah, no problem. You, you have yourself at the ready. Um, you would ha that, that would mean you'd have your holy symbol at the ready, uh, so that you could use that. Okay. Uh, but rather than have your shield, basically. Cool. Oh, nope, that's fine. That is fine. I think I'm okay. also going to have rope out in case we need to, I don't know, rappel down or something. All right. Um, Do we, oh, sorry. Do we see, like, effects of an earthquake, or are we coming to normal ground, or? So, I thought. Uh, as the path to your left, um, on the left side, it kind of goes, it, it does go up on a hill that's overlooking, which would make a good ambush ground. Though so on the right, it's actually heading down towards a small creek that's running parallel to the path. I want everybody to make perception checks, though. Beep, boop, bop. Yeah. Oh, that's so much uh, better than uh, last time. Okay. Down by the creek. Uh, don't worry if you fail this, though. There are some things you literally can't miss. Eight. Uh, Is that right? Um, okay. 
don't think August saw anything. I I definitely saw something, but I want to make sure my math's correct. I mean, no, I, I mean August with an 18. No. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 13. Damn, oh, Lord. Right? Did you roll a nat 20? No, I no. rolled an 18, but I have a plus 7, and I got a plus 3 in my, um... Guidance. 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 Oh. Okay. How the hell do you have plus no. seven already? Lindsay's everything. I have a plus Wait. four in wisdom and a profession. Glint and Wait up. color, guys. Fucking mm -hmm. O'Reilly. Um. Before you else. are even in visual range of what's happening, she raises her hand and she stops the the cart, and she puts her fingers to her lips. And she extends her awareness outside herself to the land itself. Her hands out. And then, Glenn, you feel, first off, you can feel kind of a rumbling in the ground. That's the first thing you feel. And you mm -hmm. feel as if the land itself is being torn. Bit by bit. Ooh. You smell smoke in the air and ozone. And you know that kind of smell that you get right as the air becomes crisp and freezing during winter, right in the inside of your nose? Yeah, like when your nostrils hair start to freeze just a little. That's the one. You smell <laughs> that too. Well, well, Glenn is you, going to... Oh, sorry. Carry on. And then you move from your supernatural senses to your, to your ears. And you hear in the distance shouting in combat. You, know, you can't make out any words, but you can definitely hear... <laughs> like a long-pitched battle. Your eyes open, and you look up, and suddenly you see what, you f what, what most people would mistake for a bird. You see one of the air cultists fly up and then dive back down again, it's way off in the distance. Like, no one would normally be able to see this. What do your own eyes say? And then you come back into yourself. And you know that whatever happened is going on right now. All right. Well, Glenn is going to look to the group and say, I can feel it. Something's happening ahead. We need to get there. People are dying or people are getting hurt. We need to get in or we need to get there now. And she is going to usher the horses forward. Um. About a minute later, you, um, Wick, uh, Pierce, and August can see it now. Um, uh, Wick's gonna. Oh, you're mad. <laughs> um, yeah. I was you... wondering if whose cat that was. That was oh, baby. That was mine. I I picked her up, and she's just like, "Oh, I don't like this." Per per, I'm mad. Per. <laughs> So you see, um, along the path itself, you can see a in the distance um, a cart, a covered wagon, very similar to your own. Um, the horses have scattered um, into which direction you don't know. Um, you can see about a half dozen of three of the four elemental cults are engaged in a battle with each other over the caravan. Uh, mm. You can see an air cult diving in to attack uh, a water snake. Look. Um, you can see another uh, water cult is shooting frost bolts um, at a uh, earth cultist who himself is uh, trying to fend those off, try to take a hammer swing at one of those annoying beat dancers that 
Wick has, has still has a little bit of nightmares over. Um, while this is going on, however, you see six figures looking over onto the left, looking overhead. Um, four of which are dressed in soot black armor. And you can see the middle of their chest glowing bright orange. Um, the fifth person amongst them, I want you all, uh, except for Eric, you cannot make this roll. I want everybody else to make me a intelligence check with advantage, please. Ooh. You said soot black armor, glowing orange. Yes. It's 20! Not 20? Plus whatever. What was it? What kind of roll? Uh, intelligence check. Plus three. So wait, just to, just to check, you, you just got a, a natural 20? I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> No regrets. <laughs> I rolled a nine. Technically, I rolled a ten, but I have a minus one in intelligence. Okay. <laughs> Our sweet baby. <laughs> uh, Gwen in August, you recognize that man sitting there smoking his pipe. You think back to the Scarlet Moon. Oh, God. The druid encampment. Oh. And the man that was looking over the fire elemental that you had fought. Sitting there with his pipe. That stupid handlebar, handlebar mustache of his. You recognize him. You also recognize the person beside him. You see a stocky form. At first you think it's someone in armor, but then you notice the face. Completely mm -hmm. metallic with a bear trap jaw. A similar glowing orange circle in their chest, and what appears to be two hooked horns from their head curling and twisting in a very unnatural fashion. You can't make out what they're saying, but they are having a conversation with this man. But you do recognize them from a dream that you've all about to said, I don't think any of us actually saw his grandfather other than him. Mm -mm -mm. Not that dream. No, it's the uh, Warforged. Oh. The metallic person? Isn't that a Warforged? That sounds about right. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. Dun, dun, dun. Well, Glenn will impart that knowledge on those that did not figure it out and say, look, it's those guys. And I think I remember them from my dreams. Can that be right? From a run-of-the-mill dream or the dream we all shared dream? Oh, that same one. Yeah, it's the, the dream you all shared. Ah. Uh. So do and we then, want to deal with the small fry in, with ah, the Warforged? I was going to say, what do we do? Are we going for the cart or are we going for the cult heads? Uh, let the <clears throat> let the cart handle itself. We'll fight. We can fight whoever wins that after we take care of the others first. Can we take care of the others? Man. Yeah. They seem pretty scary. August wants to ask um, Yannick if he sees his sister. Um, you ask him, and he 
says yes, and he points. Um, standing at the back of the caravan, you see a woman with a short pixie cut. Um, she is, uh, how to describe this? She is pea soup levels thick. She has muscles that make Wick look small. Is it Vuitton? Um, <laughs> um, in one hand, this woman uh, is wielding a, uh, uh, she has a big tower shield. And in the other, uh, she's deftly swinging around. Uh, this sharp uh, spear. Uh, whenever any of the cultists are unfortunate to get close to her range, she immediately just dives in, clocks them in the back of their head with the shield, slashes at their their legs with the uh, spear, trips them, hamstrings them. There's uh, like a couple cultists that are at her feet and paying the price of getting close. Care of them, but she is guarding. He's alright, he's just gonna like, oh, sorry. Her cloak is the same silver gray that Yannick and Ardent and the other soldiers are wearing. Ooh. August is gonna slowly turn his head <laughs> to Yannick, like, look, your worries are valid for your family, but come on. She had this. <laughs> yeah, Wick is gonna be like, yeah, bro. like, no offense, but I think your sister could lay you in the ground and then, like, bury you twice. We would ask her um, to. I would thank her. She can lay me in the ground any day of the week, guys. <laughs> well, he's, sitting there and he's loading his guns. Click, 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 you know. Click, yeah, like, you, he just, you go do he that. Smiles, he says, I know how good my sister is. There's a reason why I'm the one who to you guys. <laughs> All right, while well, you Eddie. do that, if you want to go help her or help us, I don't care. We're going to go beat some fucking dumb heads up. All right. Uh, Ardent uh, says, do you want us to take the ground? Do you tell you guys to take the high road? Yeah, I guess. All right. Thank you. I think it'll be, I think it'd be better if you come with us and help us out and then we just... Uh, move as a unit. Well, um, well, that may be. Um, She's like one person down there. Go help her. Yeah. It's the only reason why she's not. They're fighting each other. So. Let's give it Do a Do you want to go up there and I'll go down there? Okay. Guarding the caravans is our job. <laughs> August, do you remember the I'm last time you left me alone? I was just thinking of, you know, splitting the... No. The punches, but it's fine. Okay, okay, I'll go with you. <laughs> she knows nothing about battle tactics, and she is going to go along with what one of the others suggests. Wickham has separation uh, anxiety. Uh, Ardent then uh, says to you, Wick, Hey, cousin. Yeah, bro? He just, he just grins. Let's get back in old form, shall we? Yeah, we'll you rusty you as fuck! <laughs> he laughs and says, Oh, I'll show you. Let's go. We're gonna grab dinner after this, right? No, I'm just gonna let you starve. Hurry up and go! <laughs> he laughs. It's all for dinner, guys. Let's go. You guys, uh, you won't be able to take the cart there, so you decart because bringing a bunch of bringing a couple horses, even these horses, into the fray is not a good idea. Yeah. That's fine by me. And I don't want our horses to get sidelined. You crest up the top of the hill, and uh, how would you like to make an approach? Do they well, see us coming, like, or do they seem distracted? How would you like to make your approach? Wickham's gonna turn uh, we'll... to... Oh, I was gonna say, Wickham's gonna turn to Glencora. You cast Fireball. 
I cannot. Damn it. But I could cast something similar, depending on how far away they are. Well, what was Ericron thinking of casting? Oh, I was going to pull out my sword, definitely, uh, and oh. put up my holy symbol. Can uh, Atlas mean... hit him with one of the wands? Oh, magic missile? Uh-huh. Sure. What is How fire far away are, are they? Um, you can get about a hundred feet away. Um, before you know, combat would officially. Hurt. Somebody has a scroll of haste and scroll of water wall too. By the way. I mean, I can call lightning. I assume they're it? within a sixty-foot radius of each other. That they certainly are. Let me see here. The only things that I have that are long range are a javelin or a hand yeah, axe got... if I want to throw it. I got an arrow. That's it. I got my cool sword. Oh, I got a rock. Actually, I think I might have an. Oh, I have a hand axe I could throw, and I think I have a javelin too. Oh no, that's Rhea. I have a python. What is a python? Titan's the thing that you a stick into a, a like a wall and then you use it to loop rope so you can climb up it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Climb it. Climb in gear. Yeah. Gotcha. Alright, so uh I, mean, I take it your approach is going back. to be okay. Sorry, so I take it your approach is going to be swift and violent. That's what you guys want. I mean, I can do it. <laughs> Anyone else opposed to swift and violent? Um, I'm, I'm try trying to see if there's any. I don't think I can there's cast to these people. Yeah, but no, I, don't... Cast well, I was thinking like on. stealthing. Yeah, I don't think there's a way for us to stealth up, is there? Well, I feel like, like I mean, the whole point of stealth is to get a sneak attack, and if we're far away for a sneak attack that's swift and violent, go for it, right? I True, could cast but... dress without a trace, or I could cast call lightning. I can. I have invisibility, a free move, uh, once. Do we want to cast invisibility on Glenn and then have her get up close enough to cast lightning? I can do yeah. that from a hundred and I mean, whatever feet. Like I can do that from. I mean, I've got yeah. firebolt. I don't have fireball, unfortunately. Yeah, when it comes to stealth capability, the one you would least need to do cast invisibility on, because she can become fucking mouse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, call lighting is 120 feet, so if we're like 100 feet from them, I can do that from where we are, and then we can close the distance. Yeah. But it, or mm -hmm. we can try and close the distance and all get a opportunity round in, potentially. Depends how you want to gamble, I guess. Or we yeah, can try to use our point. words. Ooh. No, no words. Okay, all right. I just With, thought I'd throw it. already it. told us that it crazy. Well, what if our bear words in mind, ever work bear for in us? Mind, yeah, bear, it, yeah, bear in mind the closing with 100 feet is assuming you're literally just one there. If you do something else, that's obviously going to change that. Mm -hmm. My thing is that Ericron and I both have disadvantage on stealth. So I don't know if it's if we're gonna get close enough to get um I'll get a what's it called? A uh, so I mean sure. I could okay, so I I just notice a thing I have. Mm -hmm. Uh I have dimension door and I can take something that I'm able to carry. Yeah. I can bring one up. willing creature of my size or smaller. Take August with you because I have um, Misty Step. So we could get four out of five people within close range to all get a close range attack. Question: If you did the Dimension Door, well, would I get an attack? A uh, a uh, uh, surprise round if, attack or no? If they are unaware of you, okay, you get a surprise round. I'm just saying A1B. once. Yeah. If I prepared to attack when we go through, would I get it? Or 
Okay, so you're aware of them. So uh -huh. during the first round, you get to go, right? You're, they're not surprising you. You are not surprised. If you can pull it off such that they are unaware of you, oh. then they do not get to go the first round. You get your well, surprise. I, I guess what I'm saying is that I guess we would have to know whether or not they notice the dimension door, huh? Is that what well, you're saying? That's, it would be the well, odds, right, if they okay, see all so of us, too. It, it's also possible that one could see it and become aware, and the others do not, and thus only you'd still get that first round on everyone, but then they'd get that first round. I have an idea. The, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. so, so the way a surprise round works, if you're surprised, you don't get to go on the first round, and everybody else what? treats you as if you're surprised. Uh, what is cast? Like... So what does cast? What does cast without a trace do? That gives us a bonus on stealth. I think Sona was going to say something though. I had an idea. I'm just looking it up. So it might take me a sec. Scroll. Gives a big bonus on stealth. So I feel like we need to start making a decision in... fast because Drake usually starts counting down on us. <laughs> What's I do want to cast bless on everybody before we do, before we execute the plan too. Okay. Oh, absolutely! But I'm giving you guys opportunity to approach. They have not okay. noticed. Um, we each creature within thirty feet of you has a ten plus bonus bonus to dexterity and can't be tracked except by magical means, and we don't leave any traps. I say fuck. But if you roll two net ones, we're still kind of. That's yeah, I say fuck that. I have an idea. You guys okay. want to extra make sure that they don't see us, right? Yeah. You want to do Dimension Door. We have that scroll of haste. You can hit a lot faster with a scroll of haste. Use the scroll on yourself. Have Atlas bamf you in there, but before that, hide in some bushes, and then I can go out there, or Glenn and I can go out there, and we can and Baragron too, we can cause a distraction. Then you do that, and then you can fucking wipe through them. And then we'll come I, up and be back up, and then that'll be your surprise round. I say ca cast haste on August, and Dimension Door him through there. That's what I just it, said. I but thought you said you cast it on yourself. And be like, this seems like a lot, or we could just fail on every single thing we're trying. It's a lot of what ifs, whereas just attacking once from a distance might be more of a sure shot. Or does that make any sense? Her brain is hurting with all the talks of tactics, and she doesn't know what helps. Let's let's do the haste door, uh, dimension door idea. I, I like that. I'm a little confused, but okay. okay. I'll do whatever you guys want. Oh, we used haste on August, and then you guys hide in some bushes or something, and then we go out, cause a distraction, so their attention is on us. While their attention is on us, okay. Atlas... Well, the thing, okay, the whole thing about the surprise round is that we all get a chance to hit There's before no they way. hit. Yeah. There's no way that Wiccan's gonna get thing, a chance to hit, because he's hundreds of feet away from you guys. Well, that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. If we're even, if we're not even gonna all get the opportunity to hit, then we might as well just hit them with Glenn's fire uh, thing or lightning thing. Something that you need to consider as well. Um, you know that they have ranged attacks, and you know that they are not. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's the thing is, well, doing a ranged attack from here would still mean that you guys may not be able to get within range in one turn to attack. Well, if they yeah. can do range, they'll stay back 100 feet, and you would have to take several moves before you can get close enough to hit them. At least us trying to stealth in will give the short-range people a chance to already be within range. If you're going to damage me, Doran, there, I'm putting you on invisibility, though. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm doing that, then, if, that, if that's the plan. Uh, do you have to do that after, or can you cast spells while you're invisible? You can cast some spells 
it's up for you what it can do. Um, invisibility, fifth edition. Um, um, oh yeah, no, casting a spell will end invis invisibility. Okay. But, um, so the idea is they can mention and then that's how you go in, yes? Wait, what? Uh, so, the thing is, too, as well, who's casting invisibility in all this? Well, I was going to cast it on um, Atlas. Okay, who's casting haste? It's a scroll. But that is still a question that is valid. Whoever I hand it to. Yeah, or whoever Eric Front hands it to. That's just... So oh, there's a reason it. why it has to be yeah, no. well, it would have well, to be Atlas. Atlas be, yeah, see, Atlas can't dimension door and haste to. it. Yeah, uh, so well, would, you can. Oh. Um, haste is from sorcerer or wizard, so it has to be one of those two. Oh. Yeah. Yep. So either either uh, August or uh, or Atlas can cast the haste. The issue is concentration. Only one person can concentrate on that spell, and if someone is casting invisibility, they cannot concentrate on invisibility, and at the same time, concentrate on the haste. This is why I'm asking. Um, oh, oh, is that a concentration? It does have a little yeah. C, doesn't it? I never yeah. knew. Okay. Yeah. Wait, and it is you very said important. It is very important he to He can who cast is. haste and dimension door? Uh, yeah, you can cast haste and dimension door because dimension door does okay. not require concentration. Um, okay. Well, then Atlas can do that. Okay, but yeah. the thing is, is that the second you cast, if I cast inv invisibility on you, okay, the whole point of invisibility is so that they don't know you're there <laughs> because if, At if Atlas has to go with me, um, does he have to go with me? Well, that is true. I have um, to take somebody if through. Had, if he's maintaining invisibility, okay. he would that he wouldn't be able to do the opening round alpha strike and. And still that's be the whole thing anyway. is that I don't want them to know you're there at all. But that so that's a moot point. I have a very yeah. stupid idea that probably won't work, but I would like to suggest it anyway as a joke. You always do. Yes. So you have haste, you cast, you guys do, you cast invisibility, dimension door, or you dimension door, then, so, okay, haste on August, dimension door with the two of you. Instead of casting invisibility before, you cast invisibility after you get there, but before you do that, I hand Atlas a bag of flour, and he throws it down, and it poofs open, so maybe, as soon as he goes invisible, they will think that he has cast some kind of spell. Sounds like I think so... they're maybe smart enough to figure that out. They are cult leaders. Yeah, the but it's an idea. I think you get the opposite. I think you get the opposite with... effect with with flower and invisibility. Yeah. It depends yeah. on where you uh, throw the it. The other problem with casting invisibility after you tell is that's going to use up your surprise. Yeah, that's my whole thing, too. Yeah, he so has I get, to use the attack I, I just worry about but, Atlas. <laughs> Atlas will be fine. Okay, let's he just go for it. He does close range okay. attacks as well. Mm -hmm. Like, he has his rapier and... What if, what if I go in because I can... I have Misty Step. I can get out in a way and my surprise round, I can stack my I mean, uh, honestly, there's a way to get all four of you in. While Glenn holds up the rear as artillery. What are we not thinking of, y'all? I'm you assuming have, the DM doesn't want to share. No, no, you have approaches for three of you all playing. You're so right. close to figuring out an approach for the four. And once you do that, you can have literally just showing up popping out of nowhere and instantly like, like they still get a roll they still get to roll but the chances of them being able to act on that first round would be very slim but you just have to figure out what to do about that four, uh person 
I have, um, like, long strider prepared and someone could close distance really fast. Is that? Nope. No, okay. <laughs> that's that's the op. <laughs> no, no, I'm just trying to think of what I can do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you can figure out how to get Wick in there, because you got the three of you figured out, and Glenn can stay at a distance and have your surprise route. Um, if you can figure out how to get Wick in there, you have your surprise round, and I'm just going to say that. Do you have your wild shape? I do, but I don't know if that's going mm -hmm. with the hint Drake's giving. Glenn does not need to approach, because Glenn is already in position oh, yeah, right now. That. Yeah, we're trying to figure out, yeah, because she can reach from here. We're just trying yeah, to we're, we're out trying to do how to get you the our two heavy hitting tanks within range. The and other he says I, there's a way to do it. Yeah, the idea yes. I had that wasn't exactly it was that um, Glenn wild shapes into one of the birds from the air cultist thing. I get on her back, and then I do not have the ability to change into a bird yet. Oh, okay, that's fair. I can't fly. I've got no ideas. Then I have an intelligence of minus one. I'm trying to think of what I have. Here, let me write it down what you guys have so is, anything is, it, is it in Wick's wheelhouse? How many, how many people can cast without a trace uh, effect? That's several for the end. Yeah, that's one way of doing it. Uh, though that will involve a rule. Um, that's not necessarily what I'm thinking of, but yeah, um, that's that's one way uh, that you could try for sure. Um, I I like it's probably not something in my wheelhouse. I don't have. No, it's not in oh. mine. I assure you. I assure you. <laughs> it's something in somebody's something. And it's, it's somebody's been somebody's mentioned something. today already. I've been already living in the barn. <laughs> I don't have a wheelhouse. It's like a month off, team. What the hell? <laughs> it's been mentioned today already. Yeah, it's already been mentioned. I mentioned giant insect. Probably not bad. Okay, what about pass without a trace and invisibility together? I think Jake just told mm. us not pass without a trace. Um, no, I didn't say. Uh, no, I'm not saying not pass. Without well, no, a trace. I, I feel like I'm that's not saying that. Giving us the impression that wasn't the way you were thinking it was going. It's not what I was thinking of specifically, but Pass Without a Trace will allow you to be favorable. Uh, so that's a possibility, and that will definitely help. Uh, Pass Without a Trace will be helpful, um, it, regardless of what you're planning. Good flower, wasn't it? <clears throat> Or my, using no, a distraction. Cool my nope, cool nope. sword. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you, you guys, you guys, really close. Like you guys. I do not want to dissuade any sort of plan that you have that said pass what without about, a trace. Um, pass without a trace and haste. Stuff? It's not what no. I'm saying. Okay. I don't know. Haste, <laughs> haste, <laughs> and dimension door. <laughs> No, pass without a Get tree. in and out real quick. The zoomies. The zoomies. <laughs> uh, I don't know what else we've suggested. <laughs> My misty step is only 30 feet, too, by the way. Yeah, but the pass without a trace would allow you to get... That's actually... Like, I'm just allowing that for... Real of cool. Yeah. We're really stupid right now. Not really. You've mentioned it. Who's mentioned you literally it? Literally said it. Can't tell you. You said exactly. it. Exactly. I want you to. I you said. I mean, I said invisibility and pass without a trace. I feel like we've said it earlier in the game. I'm trying to think back further. Okay. I think we've mentioned earlier in the game. I really like the idea of haste on Aircron. <laughs> Being the stack paladin. Y'all, he's 
He's keyboard mashing. You're not we a made our bottom. Why are you keyboard smashing? Is Zatani a hint? It... No, <laughs> I think earlier in the I game. Oh, <laughs> so frustrating. Or what did you say? I'm casting invisibility on Wick. Fuck it. Someone pass pass without a trace on him. All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Y'all have it. <laughs> All right. August is gonna look at <laughs> Atlas. You stay with me. <laughs> All right. So uh, Atlas casts haste on himself, and or sorry, who does Atlas cast haste on? Eric August. I, what? I, Eric Ron said he could double stack shit, so he might be a, he a harder hit. Okay, Erica. All right. I didn't want to. I didn't want to beg for it, but I like. I like me some paladin haste. It's it's sick nasty. Okay. Wickham is just busy waving his hand in front of his face, giggling because he can't see himself. Um. Who cast? Who cast it? By the way. Atlas. Okay, you gotta keep. You just gotta keep concentration. That's the only thing. Yeah. Aye. aye. Yeah. So I, it, I was just like sitting there, I'm just. Like, she could do this. Put off. Um. And then Glenn, are you gonna cast Path Without a Trace on Wick? Yeah, I wasn't sure if you guys had done had decided what was happening. Oh. Yes. But whenever we're ready, Glenn will cast Path Without a Trace okay. on. I was going to say, whenever everyone's ready, he'll cast Dimension Door as well. All right. Um, yeah, you're probably going to want to wait a little bit for Wick to get close. Um, yeah. And then Eric Ron to get into position. Um, so what I want from everybody first off is a stealth check from everybody. Uh, for those of you that would have it with disadvantage. Um, okay. Uh, first off, Wick, you're going to have advantage on it. Um, Unless you yeah. have something that gives you disadvantage. Um, and um, Erica on August and Atlas, you'll have advantage. However, um, if you're wearing armor, that gives you disadvantage. By camera councils out. But everyone will have the plus 10 to their roll because of Pass Without a Trace. Gwen, you don't need to roll anything about this because you're already in position and they don't see you. So you don't. You can forego this roll, in, roll entirely. You automatically mm -hmm. succeed. So you said for me, it's still a disadvantage, but I get plus 10. You're still a disadvantage, but because you're using the dimension technique, you'll get advantage. They'll cancel each other oh. out. Flat roll okay. at plus uh, Yeah, 10. yeah. Flat roll. Flat. Okay. Yeah. Would, would mine be, still be flat roll, too? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Mod yes. 20. Mod 20. That plus 10 is coming in hand. Yeah, that was only a 10. Plus what That's is it? okay. What do you add? Uh, okay. You'll add plus 10, plus whatever your is. Um, if you don't have armor that gives you disadvantage, you're going to have advantage on this roll. Uh, oh. Bear in mind, you're only trying to beat their passive perception here. So this is not a difficult roll at all. Good, because I immediately started oh. sweating. Yeah, yeah I, I rolled a 14. Do I add 10 to that, or? Yes. Oh, Hell shoot. yeah. Yes. I rolled a t I, it added up to 25. Yes. Let's go, hard hitters. Can I have what? Can I ask one more question, Dan? Sure. If we're getting a surprise round, are you said that they were like sitting right next to each other, correct? They are. They're all talking to each other. Yes. Okay, so like, if I get two attacks, I can attack both without like anything. Yeah, you can attack both okay. if they're in range. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, and I guess before those guys take off, I would like to request, if possible to try and if i can get a shot first off with my something that's an area if you get a shot first off they will be aware of you They'll screw the entire plan no like you know what i mean like if i'm top of the order or before everyone gets within melee range like totally uh nope if you get a shot before every position that will 
expose you and they will be aware that you'll use your surprise round. In other words, you'll be basically what that would do is that would be you using your surprise round before they're in position, which means that they don't get the benefit of the surprise round and then everyone gets their initial. So what you want to do is you want to wait and then and then act according to initiative when it comes up. Okay. Sorry about that. That's just that's okay. It is what it is. It's all good. Um, I would like everybody to roll initiative, please. I have a question. I have an answer. I'm invisible. If I set myself yeah. on fire, am I going to be invisibly on fire? That is neither casting a spell, nor is it an attack. So you would remain invisible. Hell yes. But Just stand in the area. Also, just stand in the air. Don't even like attack. Just be like, why the fuck am I catching on fire? <laughs> Though as soon as you start damaging them, that kind of Oh, do situation. I do I get uh, advantage okay. on initiative? No. Um, well, because it says oh, wait, I have you advantage. Have, you have your you have your oh you have your barbarian yeah. ability, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah, you do. yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Uh, mod twenty um, for me. Nice. I was going to say though, Glenn, if you dust with them, they can ready their action. So that they act when you lightning bolt them, and that would give you the effect of going first, and then everybody jumps in at that point. So if you want uh, to do that, guys, I'm just you can confused. Do that. So <laughs> you, you can't, you cannot force yourself to go first. People can roll higher initiative, than you, but what they can do when they roll higher initiative than you is they can say, okay. "I ready an action to attack them when Glencora, Glencora lightning bolts." Oh, I want to that. just mostly ask if people wanted to just try and stay out of a range. range. You know what I mean? Like, I just wasn't wanting to hit well, anyone. We don't have they. If they have range, they win that fight because me not having range. Yeah. Well, meaning AOE. She didn't want us to be within range of her doing an AOE mm. attack. To do okay. that, though, you'd need to go first. And that's your initiative. To okay. accomplish that, what you need people to do who go before you is three to ready an action. The trigger being when Glencora casts lightning bolt, because this is how readying an action works. You give it a trigger and an action. Right? So they say when Glencora casts lightning bolt, I will charge in an attack. Right? Okay. So like because okay. Wick rolled a mod twenty. Yeah, I already said I was gonna do that. Do that first, and then yeah. Oh no, I'm gonna okay. I'm yeah, readying my action for I that lightning bolt without a question. But, I'm ready. Yeah. Pardon? I'm readying an action for when I see the lightning bolt. Okay, cool. And then you activate your aura on your turn, and then you're ready. Yep. Fire you. Okay, cool. Uh, Atlas A and Aircron, I need initiative from you. Oh. uh... It wasn't his 12? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Uh, Atlas uh... and... Uh, oh, never... I see. Yeah, just I uh, just Atlas. Okay. August is going last, of course. It's August. That's where August lives. <laughs> and I hate it. Uh, mod 20. <laughs> it's not bad to go last in this situation. I know, I'm just tired of waiting all the time. <laughs> Okay, but at least you're not muted. Um, okay. Uh, which one of you between Wick and Atlas has the higher dexterity modifier? Uh, I have a one. I also have a one. Who do you <laughs> want to go first? I'm holding my action either Wick. way. Uh, I can go first if you want me to go first. Yeah, uh, okay. I was gonna hold an action, a ready an action as well, but I had to decide on what that action. Is. Well, well, you're you're you... readying the action of Dimension Door. Yeah. Well, one of y'all's got to go. The other one of y'all's got to go second. Oh, I'm going first. Well, that was cool. a roll of dice. Yeah. No, we already no, cool. we were saying I was going first. Yep. Pierce yeah. was just saying they would be fine with going second. They just have to figure out what they want to do when they go second. Exactly. 
Yeah, no problem. I just need to know. You're gonna have to dimension door if you want me to get up there. <laughs> Unless you have two attacks. Oh, true. I have three right now. Get me just a couple seconds. I'm done here. I'm ready. I am excited. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh, that is the so, uh, mm. Amber, you're not the only one who can roll natural in this. <laughs> He's going to get it. Hope it's one of the baddies. Yeah, well, it's definitely not one of the good. Well, I assumed it was either it was either going to be him or so. Next, the next feat you get, Amber, you should look into getting alert because you get plus five to initiative. We'll see. Oh, I should ask as well, DM. If I just didn't roll a shit. Yeah. Since you said it was a earthquakey, is there like any other storm conditions, or is it just a clear day? It is all the bad weather. It is simultaneously hot and windy. Ooh. And so, still... would you say there is? It is stormy conditions. Oh, that's a good question. I'm going to say, yeah, you get the benefit of the mission. Thank you. Thunder, Thunderbolt, yes. Thunderbolt automatically hits with the rainy day active. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. aware of what you're asking me there, and I'm telling you, <laughs> yes. That was, that was a Pokemon reference if the kids didn't get that. All right. We have initiatives sorted out. Uh, Wick, your go. Um... As you uh, ready everything, the plan goes, uh, you start the plan. You look down, you see Ardent and his team slowly approaching. He gives a hand signal to you, you give a hand signal back. It is he go time. He can't see me, I'm invisible. I, it's not just you. It's not just you. It's, it's the party. You. Okay. Because you're coordinating. Um, August gives a hand signal. Fuck thank it. you. Yeah. <laughs> Someone gives a hand signal. Then <laughs> you teleport in. Um, Aerocron, you'd approached the closest, uh, other than Wick, um, but you'd managed to sneak up behind them. That pass without a trace spell, <clears throat> so choice, especially in the weird lighting of the storm conditions. Um, you bamf in. <laughs> um, Atlas grabs Wick. Uh, sorry, grabs uh, uh, August. <laughs> uh, August, you're just a little bit taken out of it. Um, I'm gonna get to that. This isn't even in the combat hasn't even started yet. Okay, uh, you go in. Boom. Uh, uh, you go bam, bam. Uh, you bamf in there. Uh, Glenn starts waving her hands, uh, getting ready for that. Uh, meanwhile, you hear gunshots coming down from the bottom as uh, the man uh, goes out, uh, goes after their sister. Um, and now that you've all bamfed in, Dimension Door's cast and everything, now the surprise round begins. So you do not spend your surprise round casting okay. Dimension Door. This happens beforehand. That's what I thought at first, but then I got confused about all the other talk. I know. I'm just confirming that right now. So, Wick, uh, your go. I'm holding my I'm holding my turn until the lightning. So you're holding your action. You're going to use your minor action to. Uh, can I? Because you can't hold that. Yeah, can I? To set myself on fire. You can set yourself on fire. Yeah, can I set myself on fire and then wait for raging and attacking until the lightning strikes? Uh, you will not be able to hold raging. You have to rage now or wait till next round. Okay. Because that's a minor action. You only get your one hilled action. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna rage first as my minor action. All right. Uh, you rage. Get yourself ready. I'm gonna do my quiet and... rage. Quietly rage. <laughs> Seething intensifies. Um, 
But I am going to let you do the damage for your aura on your turn, though, because that was always part of the plan. That's fine. Um, Atlas. Yes. I'm going to ready an action for once. Glencora's lightning bolt hit. Cool. And your action is? My action is going to cast Mind Spike. Nice. Wait. Wait. Yeah, we're just going to roll that. No, it, it, no. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. My oh, is actually. Yep. Mind Spike. Okay, action. so never mind. Um... We're just gonna roll with Firebolt. Firebolt. All right, so you ready your firebolt when uh Glenn casts. You don't need to announce mm -hmm. your target yet. Uh you can save that for when you actually do it. Okay. Um Yeah. And the reason for the concentration is because the effect of the mind spike gives you knowledge about where they are at all times, even if they're hidden. Uh, and gotcha. That's what, gotcha. And that's where the concentration comes from. Um, okay. Uh, next up is uh, Glenn. Bing. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, while Glenn watches everyone get into position and get ready, she is going to watch from her spot. Yeah distance away and she will slowly then reach up into the air and wave her arm around as if she's grasping at the clouds themselves and pull one directly overhead of them like she's somehow towing the cloud itself she okay. mutters a few soft words under her breath and then boom a giant strike of lightning rains from the sky, hitting all of the six bad guys within the 60 foot radius. Sorry. Uh, she doesn't care. Like, she just don't care. Uh, just let me check one thing here, though. You have to make a dexterity save, if that's helpful. That's not what I'm checking. Uh, just so you know, when you call your lightning bolt down, it's within five feet of the big point. You create a cylinder where lightning appear during the duration, and then you pick a point and it goes lightning there, pick another point, lightning there, etc. It does not hit everything in a straight Oh, cycle. I misread that. Gotcha. Yeah. But you can hit two at once. Yeah. Uh, so which two do you want to Oh, I guess once? they're not on me. Oh, they are. Um, I guess I will hit... Elazar and the Prophet of Fire. Okay. Uh, rolling dexterity save for Elazar. Uh, he rolls a 17. Does that save? Yes. Damn. He still takes half damage. Still quite a bit of damage. Um, the Prophet of Fire doesn't roll she just chooses to succeed Bit. did she do that on a surprise round uh sounds like an ability damn yeah that's I... that is not a reaction or anything it's not an action that is just simply a thing that certain individuals cool can do okay it's a uh, legendary saving throws my friend. yeah Gotta make that okay. pitch uh, those up. Roll me uh, yeah. damage, please. So that's 4d10. I'm going to do with um, dice block because it's so much. So I don't have to add, but I can't remember. It's R exclamation point 4d10 plus. It's excellent. It's bang R, not R bang. 
Although what? we're only fighting three. No. What did I do no, wrong? It's, the, it's uh, bang R, and it's just for ten. You don't add any uh, extra dice to that or extra damage. It's just straight forty ten. Oh right, duh. Yeah, that's not right. Huh. All right, so they both take eight points of damage. Um, it took me longer to do the math, but it probably didn't. Yeah, that would that that that's damage. Uh, uh, using a spell is a separate action for. So it is uh, unless you're using a minor action, you cannot spell flash. Mm -hmm. So gotcha. with uh, Eldritch Knights, did you get later stuff later that changes okay. that a little bit? So, um, that said, um, hey, uh, Wick, yeah, Atlas, um, fire away. Uh, who wants to just shoot first? Uh, I can go first. So I'm raging, and I'm going to go after the prophet, and okay. I'm going to use the Storm of Glory and Men, but I'm going to have it be cold damage instead of fire damage. That's a wise decision. Yeah. So I'm going to... Fuck it, go hard or go home. I'm going to do Reckless. Okay. This Your fire go. aura catches everyone else. Uh, do I do fire aura or storm aura? I mean, yeah, you did. I, um, what's it called for? Because yeah, I was raging. Well, you, you don't have. Yeah, you're raging. You don't have a choice. Uh, oh right. right. <laughs> it's. It's complicated, and D and D is hard. Yeah. First Why one is, is a natural twenty. Natural twenty mm -hmm. is. Definitely a hit. Okay. Yep, that's definitely a hit. Should I roll the second hit now or wait and then do damage first? Well, roll, roll your crit damage for sure. Okay, how do I do crit damage again? Is it double the dice or double the numbers? Double the dice. Okay. Add your... Let's do eight. And then... 2d6. I would appreciate it if you would stop doing that. That is a crit. Um, are you using it one-handed or two-handed? Uh, one-handed because I have my shield on. I can do it two-handed okay. if you guys think, but I was gonna do it. Nope, oh, no, no, just, that's yeah. fine. I just needed it's, to know. Yeah, so I would rather have an 18 instead of a 16 for AC. Roll damage. Fuck me, Mac. Ooh, shit. Uh, 20 plus 5, no. Yeah, 20 plus 5, so 25 plus uh, 2 for my rage. 27 plus whatever my storm aura is, which you say you catch, you add on always anyway. The storm aura would not affect her because well, yeah. fire priestess. Not but it can hit the other people around me. Oh, it certainly can. Um, actually, it doesn't affect the flame rats either. What it other... just really affects Elazar. Yeah. One person is better than another. Oh, there's, two... hey. there's two flame rats. There is, but it does okay. still doesn't. Effective. There you go. That's damage. So, that's one one attack. Oh boy. And <laughs> I can only do reckless once, right? Uh, reckless it... applies to all your attacks okay. that round. <clears throat> so you might as well do it uh... early and do it often. Twenty one. Yeah, that's a hit. Uh, okay, hang on, actually, 
Yep, that's a hit. Like things up around here. Oh, yeah. My dice are out for blood. <laughs> Uh, that's 15 plus more of the rage, so 17. Okay. Alright, you've definitely applied damage. And uh, she's having a bad start to her life. That is um, my turn, because <laughs> that's all I can do. Atlas? Yes, we, uh, I hope you don't mind, since you were like, oh, who's going to attack first? I'd roll my attack roll, but I didn't okay. do anything. Who are you attacking? So, uh, let's go for Elazar. Okay. And what did and you roll I in your attack? 14 plus 7. That's a hit. Please roll damage. Cool. Nine. Yeah. So, nine. Nine damage, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, Aerocron. <clears throat> okay, so they're, you said they're both flame priestess? Or... Uh, you have the warriors with the, 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 the flame sort of in their chest. Uh, they mm -hmm. are, uh, they're not, they're not the same as the priests that you remember. Um, okay. you have Elazar, who you definitely do remember, and the Prophet of Fire himself. All right. Um, I want to make my way up to one of the guys with the orange crystals, uh, the mm -hmm. two guys, uh, and swing away for my first attack. Okay. Ooh, 18 plus 5. That's definitely a hit. So. Okay. 6 for just sword damage. But. I'm adding. Thunder Smite on there also. Or oh. did, I, did I do that the wrong way? Nope, that's fine. Um, okay. How much damage total is that, please? Uh, nine for Thunder Smite. Okay, uh, so the total was... Um, dang it. <sighs> Hold on. Oh, it's all good. I, already for I already forgot the sword damage. Same here. Should I just re-roll for the sword damage? Yeah, please do if you don't. Okay, sorry. I don't That's okay. Okay, seven for the sword damage, nine for thunder smite. Okay. I want to add um, my divine smite to that also. Okay, go ahead and do that, please. Two d8s. So another eight to that. Alrighty. And hold on, there's another thing for the Thunder Smite. I think that knocks them away, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. 
they, they would need to make a strength saving throw or be pushed uh, 10 feet away or not okay. prone from you uh, and not prone. Okay. Well, they have that's to be not though. their strong suit, unfortunate. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> knock him off. <laughs> He's like, funk. Nice. Uh, if you continue your attack against him, it will be advantage. All right, cool. Um, for my second attack, since this is still in my in my actions, my my uh, just two act my two attack action, I will yep. attack the other one. Okay. So nineteen plus five, yes. So. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sword damage oh. eight. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to make sure I write these down too for you. That's all right. I think the only thing you can do is a divine uh, smite, if anything. I think that's only one. Yeah. Time. So sure. I think I think that's all you got there. Yeah, and then I'll add that divine smite, like you said. Well, hang on. Let me check. I'm not entirely sure you can do that on a second. Okay. But I am being 100% sure before I yeah, sign that's off. Why I, that's why I attack the other guy with the second attack, because I still have another action with haste. Oh, yeah, I can no, do you, can, you can do it again. Okay, cool. I, I know I can't do Thunder's um, Smite again like that. So. No, but you can definitely Divine Smite. Yeah. So, come on, uh, nine for thunder, uh, for divine smite. Yep. And your hasted attack. Go back to the guy that's down on the ground <laughs> now. <laughs> All and, right. And he said, "Attack with advantage since he's down." Yep. Yeah. Let's go. Nineteen. Yeah, that's a hit. Yeah. Yeah, that's so a hit. And damage. 10 damage. Cool. And Thunder Smite. Let me write that down just so I don't forget. 10 damage. Yep. This is why we have Dice Gel. I keep forgetting that. I'm writing it down in my phone. <laughs> Yeah. Um, August. Hold up. I'm I'm doing my thunder smite and divine smite for this. Well, you're divine smite. I'm not, smite. not, I'm not done smite. yet. I'm not I, done no, yet. I can do my thunder smite on my second. This is a whole nother action for this haste uh Hang on. action, right? Not necessarily. Let me just. Uh, so the thing with Thunder Smite is it's a bonus action every time you use it. Mm -hmm. And it, the first time you hit with a melee weapon attack during the spell's duration. So you've hit with that weapon attack, um, you, you've hit with it, it's used up. Okay. And you've used your bonus action this way, so. Okay. I, I didn't know the... with, I didn't know how, uh, with haste, uh, mixed in with that, but. Nope. Haste only gives you an extra attack. It doesn't even... Yeah. So, uh, another five uh, for the Divine. Might. You are a lawnmower. Let's go. <laughs> used up four spells. <laughs> but, um, August... This feels so like anticlimactic after that. Um, I decided I'm just gonna go with a slash on um, two of them because I'd rather get a little bit of damage on both of them instead of a lot of damage on one. Uh, so I'm gonna two? at least try. Uh, which one is the guy with the uh, with the mustache? Is that the prophet or the flame wrath? That'd be Elazar. Oh, okay. Which one is the uh, automaton? The prophet or the warforged? The prophet of fire. Is that him? Okay. Uh, that's them, yeah. Okay. Then who's the flame wrath? The flame wrath are the two chumps that Aerocron is. Are, is just they're the ones with the. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, I'm just going to try to slash uh, Prophet and Elazar. Okay. Um, the guy said I'm bullying right now. Yeah. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> the what the guy said I'm bullying. Oh. Um, All right. Uh, make your first attack, please. 17 plus 7. And that's against? Uh, Elazar. Okay. Roll damage, please. Uh, wait, that's not a D eight. That yeah, it is okay. Um, a only a three plus four, so seven. Seven. Okay. Second attack, please. Uh, twelve plus seven. Twelve plus seven is a hit. Okay, and a D eight. I'm assuming this D8 is against the profit. Profit. And uh, that is a six plus four, so ten. Ten, okay. You know what, though? This, you know, last is where August wants to be, though, because that gets their attention on him. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Valid. <clears throat> well, actually, last is the new first from their <laughs> point of view. I mean, I guess. Mm -hmm. You're the first to act after they do shenanigans. <laughs> uh, speaking of shenanigans, Wick. Woo woo woo! I'm gonna. Still raging. Still gonna do reckless. Gonna go back in and try and beat the shit out of this prophet some more. Okay. Alright, so that's 15 plus 6. I think that hits. Yeah, that hits. Alright. Piling on that first round of damage. I'm angry. Apparently. Right, that's not as great. That's 11 points of damage for the first hit. No, wait, 11, 12, 13. 13 points of damage for the first hit. Okay. Not including Stormora, but Stormora doesn't count for that one. It counts just for the one dude. For the second hit, I get two. Alright, natural 20 again? <laughs> oh, Let's go, big boys. Let's go, big boys. Okay. Roll your damage. Let me write down that I rolled another nat 20 real quick. Because hmm. for and YouTube, I against? track. Uh, this is against it's still Vanderford. against the profit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's 2, D8, and... Yeah. All right. Ooh. <laughs> Twenty-three points of damage. Okay. <sighs> and I'm gonna. So, can I move some oh, yeah. more, like to the side? Instead of like directly face to face with the prophet, even though I'm invisible. I mean, you're not invisible now. <laughs> the second we attacked, you weren't invisible. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah, still you're, fine. You're exceedingly visible. <laughs> that's right. I still want to move to the side. <laughs> that's fine. You can certainly do that. Wait. Oh yeah, it still it still matters that he attacked, right? Even though I well, either way, when I attacked, it would have dropped. Down. It all matters. It all matters. It all matters. <laughs> um, it all matter. Atlas. Oh, okay. I am in crescent phase. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh. 
as a bonus action, I am going to change my lunar phase. Using one sorcery point. Okay. And I am going to... Go to new moon. All right, so you swap your phase. Blue moon. And then... I need to look something. Please. Why did I do this? Okay. That was just me doing that. I am going to now cast... Oh, why the hell not? We're going to cast another Firebolt at Elazar. Okay. Go for it. Sixteen plus seven. Pardon? Sixteen plus seven? That's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Use these two this time. Really? Oh, okay. I can't see from the distance. Nine plus four, thirteen. Thirteen, okay. And that ends my turn. All righty. Glenn. How far away am I from the baddies? They're about 120 feet away. Okay, well, in that case, I will use my movement to close 35 feet because I'm a wood elf. I have the extra five, so I'm yep. a little bit closer. And then <clears throat> I will. Where's my file? Oh no, wrong picture one. It's like one of the ones I didn't write. Okay, and then Glenn will um, shift her hand as she's doing it, and the clouds will part for a moment, and through them, a silvery beam of light will shine through, centering on um, Elizabeth. Oh, sorry. As a warning, if you cast Moonbeam, you'll. Sorry, cut out. If you cast Moonbeam, you'll lose Call Lightning. Oh, is Call Lightning a second one? I forgot it's that. It's a concentration spell, yes. Oh, I forgot that. Would you like to take a completely different uh, turn? Uh, I would, actually, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. I what totally would you... forgot that one was a uh, could be a multiple turn. Yeah. Uh, what would you? Well, in that yeah, case, what... when she runs forward, instead of the clouds parting, the clouds will stay cloudy, mm -hmm. as she would prefer them now. 
and she will say a few more soft words under her breath as she calls down another two strikes of lightning on uh, sorry uh sure uh and uh i'm assuming prophet and elazar again um was it that to do it on the prophet because he automatically saved or is that a one-time thing or can you not tell me that I don't don't know i say keep doing it so the legendary resistances can get used up okay then i will do it again on the prophet but fire and elazar wow wow that's lightning lightning makes banging noises now actually what is your dc 15 15 elazar does not save he rolls a 12 plus a 2 suck and on that and the prophet snaps away the i don't like that well How you know what making her use them up so wow you did a whopping three points of damage to the prophet how did that go so terribly wrong? Wow, that is shocking. Oh, Miss, <laughs> no, it wasn't. That's the problem. Um, hold on a second. Do... Oh shit, I don't have inspiration. All right, carry on. Inspiration, yeah, inspiration would not let you read it. No, I, I just had a second of panicked hope. <laughs> yeah. A dying. Uh, Aerocron. Um. Oh, is old boy still down, or did he get up? Oh, he's still down. They haven't even had a turn yet. Yes! Okay, I'm swinging at him again with advantage on the ground. Go for it. So... Uh, 22. 22. That's a hit. All right, so... For sword damage, eight, and then I will swing again. So, eight damage, thank you. Yes. All right, swing again. Oh, do I get advantage again to, uh, on this attack? You get advantage on every attack. Hell yeah, okay. Um, oh, okay. Soft 20 either way. That'll do. Attack yet again. Nine. Um, nine damage? Nine damage. And then okay. the third attack. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. Did that hit? Uh uh, does the 14 hit? Yeah. Yes, it does. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. And... 10. Nice. I just 8, 9, 10 on that damage. Okay. <sighs> um... So, I just want to point out, hang on, one second, I'm going to grab dinner. Give me dinner. I'm probably about to just, like, hey, thank you, Ruth. be destroyed. Looks good. Mm -hmm. I'm right there. I'm like, we're both right in their faces, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you been? Oh. Nice knowing you, bro. Have you been oh, hit yet, though? Dinner. Yeah, I want to point out. We haven't had it. No, but I have advantage right. against all attacks on me. Yeah. So, I think the... It's nice knowing y'all. Uh, I think the HP tank will be fine. Okay, the HP tank will be fine, but both of us are in their face, so... Y'all have, y'all have like, 10, 10 HP difference in y'all's HP. What are you at? Wait. Just give me a second. Just give me a second here. Probably not something good. I know no, you're what eight, like eight spells. I'm at full. I'm at eighty-eight. Hell yeah! Just look, 
let that sink in. Okay, yeah, we're letting we we, we get that. I'm just saying that we about to be destroyed <laughs> on their first go around, though. Yeah, we love you, Drake, and we will try and kill as many of your characters as possible, but you will also try and kill as many of us as possible, so... <laughs> Takes one like, it's so hard oh, just... to kill you on 5e, but I'm gonna- and I'm gonna try my damnest. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, he cast Paper Cut. <laughs> Everyone take your potions! Let me tell y'all about how down. Cause, um, I'm just gonna point out Prophet is having uh, so you storm down upon some in one way literally and in many ways figuratively um, they are absolutely shocked cast fireball um, on me cast fireball on me cast fireball on me fucking <laughs> okay. it's just the pogger's face Looking at me stomping this man in the ground. The, the voice of the Warforged is very drunk. Elizar, your failures have come to exact their vengeance upon you. And they take their hand and ball it up into a fist. Suddenly, out of their back, um, four sharp, um, kind of Spider-Man-like talon things just fly out. Their eyes glow red. And one of them makes a strike for Elazar. Um... And, uh, Glencora, what? we're not in range for anything terrible, but you recognize this feeling. The same black, anti-life, horribleness oh, no. that you've seen before like being injected directly into Elazar. And oh, yeah. he shoots up as the report says, perhaps... If you embrace our faith, Miss Basha, you'll be able to end this stupidity. And then right there, um, a, a compartment opens up on their shoulder, and um, a small uh, uh, um, a small metallic web-like object falls at their feet and starts spinning. And then <laughs> there's a flash of fiery light and they are gone. Well, excuse you. It was better. Wait, the prophet left? Yeah, the prophet left. Damn. Oh. I miss playing a bard. I miss playing a bard. Alright. Now, Elazar's turn. As uh, he snaps back with the jam to his back, you see him kind of twitching a little bit. His mouth opens and his pipe falls to the ground black smoke coming from it. You can see um, metallic kind of weird little strips start spreading from his eyes, replacing them and starting to cover his face. Um, and you start to see this crack in the center of his chest underneath his uh, robe before it explodes open with the same red light as the other two. And he starts twitching on the ground. His hand starts to change from five fingers to yeah. six, seven, eight, twelve strange metallic protuberances coming forth from his body. Meanwhile, the smoke 
that's billowing from his mouth starts to form into black shapes around him. Oh, like it. Oh. And the shapes into that of smoke imp like creatures. Uh, okay. Pass. Um, in <laughs> his terrible transformation, what little sense that he has in his, his hand, arm, whatever it is now, starts to swing forward uh, towards um who was dumb enough to engage him physically that would be august <laughs> uh... before you even posted that amber knew <laughs> <laughs> that was in response to glenn just saying fuck this shit i'm out or pass but... <laughs> was never in <laughs> <laughs> that's okay you're not gonna like this i probably won't but it's okay Ooh. Yeah, that hits. That hits, yeah. Um, I, I mean, it meets my armor class. My armor class is 19. Oh, it so does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, and that's a crit. Yeah, bye, guys. Oh, that's not a crit. Oh, it's not? It said... That's not oh. a crit. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's it's cool. that's, that's just a normal hit. Okay, but that's better. I feel like there's a bot. There's always a bot. But that's a 2d8 plus 6. That's that's a lot, I know. Yeah. Mm hmm Um, meanwhile, you can see that um, metallic tendrils are kind of firing out from under his leg. And they are heading toward, um... Eracron's friend, the Prom Flame Wrath, who is panicking as one of them starts wrapping around his leg and is starting to amalgamate him into whatever this bullshit is. Mm -hmm. Um. Meanwhile, we got some smoke methods, don't we? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. And they start. You you start hearing them cackling and. Keening and basically being annoying little jerk asses. Um, let's see. Can um, I run to the bathroom really quick? Uh, you can definitely run to the bathroom. Okay, I have been holding it for a hot minute. Keep keep going. Just let me know if I get back. <laughs> uh, and you're dead. And you're dead. Okay. Um, yeah, they're all going to be calling Ember Storms. So, uh, everybody is going to have to make some saving throws here, and you're going to have to make four of them. The only one who will not is Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> is anybody... And, and Atlas. Actually, Atlas will not. So, um, Aircon... Nope. Yeah. Is August. anybody at least, is anybody at least ten feet away from me? Um, you'd be able to catch Wick and August with that. Say what? You'd be able to catch Wick and August with that. Okay, they get plus four to their saves then. Plus four? Yes. Yeah. Okay, 20... Check saving throws. Oh wait, saving throws. I didn't add anything to that. Those are just the rolls. What are my well, saving throws? You said dex plus one to everything. Plus four to everything. No, sorry. That's oh, I didn't add eight. my saving throw. Like stuff. Alright, so the, so you rolled a nine? On the third one? Yep. It's okay. Probably hits, but... Okay. 
Um, Those are the rolls with the whatever Aerocron did. I just forgot to add my oh, lightsaber okay. bonus. Yep. Cool beans. Mm. Nat 20. Nice. And four. Okay, I am back. What do I need to do? You need, you need to, to make. Oh, yes. Wait, you do have things to do. Never mind. Disregard me entirely. You need to make four dexterity difficulty 12. But Eric Run is giving you a plus four to these rolls. All right. That's just me being tempted away. The so first one is a nat one. Perfect. Way to fail it. Yep. Oh, okay, technically down. five? Yeah, technically five, but it's still a nat one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not a 12, and that's what really matters. Uh, I guess yeah. so. Second one, 15. Yep, that's a success. Third one, 17. Uh, last one is eight. Oh, wait. Last one is eight. Nine. 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 I mean, it still fails, but. Yeah. All right. Um... But did you add the, yes. the four to add that? Add four? Number? Yes, I rolled okay. a five. Uh, just, make, just making sure. All right. Our protection is pretty cool with Paladins. Yeah. Uh, what the actual thing? Label? Parts? <laughs> it's usually angry. Alright, so everyone takes uh, five damage from the first explosion. Um, Wick, you succeeded in your second, I believe? Yep. Correctly? Okay. Uh... Everyone takes five from the second explosion. Wick only takes two. Uh, from the <laughs> third explosion, August takes 12. Everyone else takes six. Except Wick takes three because Wick saved that one. And the last one. Um, everyone takes half of that, which is a uh, seven. Wait, but... Uh oh. You uh, didn't save, so this does not apply to you. No, I know. I was... Do I get any resistance to any of that since I've... it's an explosion? He already calculated your okay, resistance, cool. I think. Yep. Ooh. Yep. I doubt. I doubt my nat twenty saved me any more or less. Nope. Okay. Worth a shot. Um, just making sure I have this all calculated out. Um, Ten. Uh, uh, stupid broken typhoon. Not sorry for being fucking radical. You're... There you go. There's your total damage. As in how much I took or how much I will take? Yep. How much you how much you took from the fire. Yep. Wasn't it seventeen? That was seventeen. Yes. Alrighty. Oh wait, if it's fire. Yes, I've already. You've okay. taken a I've already calculated damage it. from a few of those. I've okay, already. It's... That's why. Yeah. Yeah, no, because like I'm. I don't suffer heat. Yeah, I know, but it's. I've already calculated you taking a quarter damage from a few from a couple of those. So. 
and yeah. each one you took half damage. So you were. Listen, I'm hot. I know it. No, you're not. That's you're why you're not taking the damage. You're heat resistant. <laughs> you're hot you, resistant. You you retract heat. No, uh, no, I I also actually don't suffer extreme heat. Well, if you can't take the extreme heat, get out of the extreme kitchen. <laughs> um, Radical. <clears throat> Skate, skateboard off the oven. All right, so with the flame rats, it's their go, and uh, Mr. Prone is panicking because he's just been stabbed a lot. Knocked and... down, stabbed a lot more, and uh, is now being uh, uh, incorporated into uh, a horrible metallic abomination being punished for his crimes. And so his action, and probably the last action he'll be sentient enough to make, he casts a spell upon himself, which will be bloop, bloop, into the, the big entity, and he casts, he catches himself on fire. Fire kind of shoots up the metallic and gets incorporated into the whatever is happening to Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. So he like the the metal just transforming on him, or is like yeah the okay yeah, I didn't know like didn't. the metal was dragging him away or something. Oh, it's doing that too. It's dragging him into oh. them, and they're kind of fusing. It's horrific. Uh, well, I mean, if I was thinking if he was getting dragged away, I would have an opportunity attack. So he's uh, so too busy dying. Elzar and the flame wrath will be one entity now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I like how you said it's horrific in the most cheerful voice ever. What are you, me? <laughs> I did worry no. for a second that we'd gone below and we'd gotten into horror territory. <laughs> well, you know, it's nice that you should say that, but sounds, it's awesome. Sounds more like a mech anime. Well, I mean, it, it's definitely some sort of uh, situation. Um, I have good news, Wick. Yeah. Um, and also uh, August, and also Eracron, and also Atlas. I need you all to make a wisdom saving throw, please. That doesn't Yay. sound good. My worst fucking review. I'm supposed to be good at this, so let's see. Well, no, and Atlas is my worst, but... I have a plus zero. Oh, so do I get anything added to this, or is it just a plan saving throw? Oh, uh, if you're ten feet away from me, plus four. So, that includes uh, August and uh, Wick. Nice. Okay, you guys, you guys won't four. believe I'm, this. I'm 20. 20, but I okay. got an eight. <laughs> you got an eight. Well, Wick. Sixteen plus. Well, I just lucked out because my my uh I my wisdom is zero. Well, Wick. Jesus. Oh God, I'm gonna um, die. Would you like the good news or the bad news? Give me the bad news. Well, the good news is wisdom saving throw clearly is killing you. The bad news is is that the uh the 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 guy with the the the, the chest fire um mm -hmm. has uh enthralled you. He's waved his hands in the air and you see little their way out and burn themselves into your head. Oh, no. Um, each creature in the area, if you see the pattern, makes a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the creature becomes for the duration. While charmed by this spell, the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. The spell ends for the affected creature if it takes any damage or if someone else uses an attack to shake the creature out of its stupor. Somebody come slap me! Preferably on the ass. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> or, more accurately, color. Shapes and colors. <laughs> He's just seeing scones floating around his face. He's thinking about something specific, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. 
Mm. That cake, literally, the like baking the cake. You thinking about something? The flame wrath did that. Oh God! Why did it get quiet? Is Drake here? Did his internet pop uh, out for a second? I think it cut out. Yeah. The inmates are in the asylum now. We've got to wait for him to get back. You inmates don't run shit. <laughs> he always hears. <laughs> I heard every word you said. You inmates don't. Hmm. Um, August would go. Oh my God, is it? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Holy fuck. Okay, it's I'm sorry. So much ass, just happened. <laughs> oh man, now I gotta make a choice between attacking and hitting you, slapping your ass. Damn. You can attack if you want to. I'm just gonna be standing here for a bit. You can attack if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Alice. Okay, the person will just... attack, and if you don't attack, don't. Mine. Don't worry. Say? Person with the zoomies could do it too. You know what? I'm gonna leave that to y'all then. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it would probably help us, but you know what? I'm not here for that right now. No, it's okay. Uh, you don't have to touch your brother's although, ass. Although Wick does go next, so heads up on that. Um, you know what? Okay. I mean, either way, one bar one tank doesn't hit. Okay, so I'm going to uh, well, I'm gonna to run over an unarmed right? strike. Wait, I guess, or can wait. I just regular slap wait. him? Or wait, okay, wait, second, one second. Non lethally unarmed strike. Okay, so you you head over to Wick. Oh shit! Am Wait. I in range or something? Is he? Where is he at? Got some range. What? He cut out again. Oh, okay. it was an opportunity attack. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize I was in range of something. I mean, all right. So, um, you you run over. Uh, what kind of attack was that? Uh, violent. <laughs> um, an attack of opportunity. Yep. Okay. I wouldn't be able to do anything against him either anyway, I guess. Nope. Alright. Oh, I did that the wrong way. Hang on. I need to not damage that. <sighs> well, okay. Fuck you, bitch. Um... <laughs> And how can I knock him out of it? Do I have to like attack him, or can I just uh? You spend an act. Huh? You just spend an act. Oh, see, I was hoping to get an attack and attack him, but yeah, that would be. Fine. I just do that, whatever I need to do. Just smack the shit Wake out of me. You're cutting out. Yeah, you are. You're cutting out real bad, bub. Yeah, you snap him out. I... You successfully yeah. snap out. Yep. There we go. That should be a bit better. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right, I am snapped out. Okay. Um, Wick, it is your go. Awesome. So, uh, let me see. Who all is still? Um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna shake off this bullshit. Do I have to redo my rage? Nope. You okay. never lost your rage. Cool! I didn't know if I lost it or not. Uh, so I'm gonna turn to Elazar. He is- he's not very, like, focused, is he? He's just mindless. Oh, he's a lot of things. And, uh, full of his senses is not one of them. 
gonna attack him. Is that a second face? Or <laughs> your attack roll? Yeah, I'm gonna attack him. I'm gonna do it at reckless because go big or go home and die or don't. Okay. Who knew we were fighting at Elden Ring? Uh, 18 for the first hit. That will hit. Uh, and I'm also going to use cold damage instead of fire. That and seems I'm, prudent. I'm slinging the, the fucking, what's it, the shield away, and I'm doing it two-handed. Okay, roll damage, please. Just going to do one. Each. So it's, let me, like, double, double check. It is 1d10 plus 1d6, yes? Okay, yes. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. Yep. Yep. That shit. Also shit. That's uh, 5 plus 5, which is 10. Um, and then whatever my storm aura does, which I don't think it does anything on the people around us, but I'm just going to leave it up anyway. Yeah. It's not even affecting him anymore at that, so you do 10 damage. Yeah. It's just for intimidation, and that's just for the first attack. Okay, um, as you attack him, you take damage from his own flame thing that has spread from the flame wrath, and you take uh, five points of fire damage. Is that half? After your resistance. Okay, so five extra? Yep. Fine, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna attack again. Uh, so 17 plus 6, I think that hits. That definitely hits. Um... I'm gonna say that's a six. I don't know what these guys, they don't have the dot. Fifteen. Fifteen? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And um, what did I get hit with after that? Uh, another six points of fire damage after your resistance. So eleven. Yep. Yes. Is the fire damage from the shield? Yes. Gotcha. And now it's gonna take an action. Oh, I love legendary actions. Um what is it going to do? at the end of your turn to be a dick. Um, uh, everyone near the dragon, so that's going to be Aerochron, Atlas, and August, make me a DC 19 dexterity saving throw, please. Dex? dex? Okay. Yep. Um, everyone, everyone add four. So it's just the ace? Uh, no, so that has Atlas. enough range. Sorry, no, Wick, Wick, you would. Atlas would not. Oh, okay, so what am I rolling? You're rolling a dexterity saving throw. Mm -hmm. Oh, That's, natural 20. It has enough range to reach Atlas. Hell yeah. It does not have the range to reach Atlas with what it's doing. I'm just rolling all the nat 20s tonight. Damn, what Wait, the fuck? Wait, so then I don't have to... You do not have to make a saving throw. Okay. Okay, gotcha. 21, that's a save. But I missed and it. yeah, can you make me a dexterity saving throw, please, for August God, difficulty 19? And add four. And you said difficulty 19? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Nope, I'm down. Uh, nope, uh, I got a six plus four, 10. Okay. 
Uh, plus one more. Eleven. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Atlas... I'm sorry, uh, August. Um, more strange metallic limbs are flying out of its body. Um, and then it starts twirling them around in the air and just slamming them down. Um, Wick and Aerocron manage to get their shields up. Um, well, Wick dodges, Aerocron gets a shield up. Um, but August, you've taken a couple wallops from this already, and you're off balance. So you'll take another 13 points of damage from this uh, thing. And you... Um... Head out there. Wow, I missed a lot of damage for August then. I took 29 from that one. Oh, that's right. Wait. I took 20 and then 29. Oh, I missed the 20. And then beforehand. something else. Five or something. I don't know. I, I don't know what yeah, happened anymore. Like <laughs> I need you to get the fuck behind me. <laughs> and use that potion you just bought. Oh, I, it was a nine. It was a nine that got, because I went to go hit Wick, and I didn't know I was in range of something. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, it hit you before, so it's going to hit you again. I thought, I don't know, I thought they were doing some weird oh, business so thing. Polite. Um, it is definitely, uh, Christmas. If by Christmas I mean damage time. Distance. Um, oh. Atlas. Mm. I just, I just want to ask. The flame shield mm -hmm. dragon thing. Yeah. That legendary action. Is he within mm -hmm. range of that if he stays where he is? You, uh, the flame shield only works if you melee attack him, so... Melee attack. Oh, okay. Which is, like, not even close to a thing you're concerned with. Oh, okay. Um... So we're gonna try this. We're gonna try to Eldridge Blast uh, Elibar. Eldridge Blast. Eldridge Blast. Is it just a melee attack or is it like. Um... Um, Eldridge Blast is not a melee no, no, attack. No, 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 the shield. It, it's flame shield. It's literally just a flame shield spell. Okay. Not twenty before my hey, hey, hey. attack bonus. Double damage. So oh, that's one of your Eldritch Blast doubles. Yeah, it's one of my Eldritch doubles. <laughs> Hold on, I'm writing down my nat twenty. Attack roll. Do you want me to roll that first, or do yes, the other I Eldritch? Roll your damage, please. Cool, cool. Yes, please roll your damage. Seven plus six is thirteen. All right. And number two, the steed. Nineteen plus seven. That's a hit. Roll damage, please. Three. Eight. Did you say? Uh, three. Three? Okay. Alrighty. Uh, anything else? 
Um, actually, Greg, I love you, but please nope. move away from your microphone when you're eating. Right. Yeah, yeah, I already have you lower. I'm using, a lot I'm using my computer building. right because my headset just ran out of juice. I can't. I also can't make the turn it to noise suppression because when it does that, you can't hear me anymore. So no. my I option is to eat. I know. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. About it. No, I'm sorry. I'm not trying I've to keep I've tried to turn. I'm and turned him down as much as I possibly can without not being Anyways, what, are you, what is your action? Are you taking a minor action? No, I said I'm good. Okay, good. Uh, at the end of your turn, it uses up its other legendary action. Mm -hmm. And it's going to uh, flail towards August, threateningly. I can't use shield on myself, can I? No, that's only a protection thing. Yeah, you can. No, I can't. Uh, not on yourself. Not my, not my shield. Not, no, not this that spell. Yeah. Uh, yep. 14 damage. Um. August is in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Oh, okay, I, I, I use, um. Yeah, just, I literally just had it up. Uh, rel relentless res endurance. Fuck yeah. I'm at one HP. I'm still standing. All right. Okay. Yeah. You're not down. Okay, that scared me for a second because I didn't math right and I thought I died. And it wasted its uh, action. Well, no, yeah. I'm still at well. one HP. <laughs> Yeah, no, but well, I got you. Okay, I got yeah, you, yeah, BB. Yeah, yeah, 14 damage would not be enough to kill you. I know, I mapped wrong, I said. Yeah. Um, Glenn, here we go. Sorry, I'm just, I'm sorry for cutting it off. It's just, we have to go on the turns, or else this is never going to get done. So, I Glenn. am currently 85 feet away, if I did my math correct. So yep, sounds about right. I am going to close 25 more feet, so that way I'm 60 okay. feet away. And yep. I can use, um, first off, Call Lightning is still active. I've not been hit. That is mm -hmm. correct. You can use your action to Call Lightning. And I can use Healing Word as a bonus action without mucking that. Nope. Nope. Uh, actually, yes, because you're not casting two spells in one round. Yep. That is correct. Okay. Well, first I will cast oops, there goes my dice. Healing Word on August from 60 feet away. Cool. Roll your healing, please. Ooh, are you do okay. What level are you doing this at? Oh, good point. I forgot I could up that. I... Oh, and I wanted to just make 100% sure. The Call Lightning, I'm not burning through spell slots because it's already active, right? That is correct, yes. Um, uh, what... Oh, sorry, go on. What spell slot are you using for Healing Word? Um, I will use... I don't know. Fuck it. Let's go third level. Okay. Roll 3d4, please. And then I also have a plus something because of my sickle. Yep. Uh, bonus from your sickle plus your wisdom modifier. Yeah. Oh, wait. I don't need a D. Two. Four. Seven. And then my wisdom modifier. So it's seven plus eight. And then I add, oh wait, sorry. So I've got 11 plus, what is it from the circle is plus one, or add one D4. So I get to add another one D4. Please do. So and let two. me know what your total is. So that is 13 points of healing to August. All right. And August takes 13 healing. Then I will call lightning again. All right. Uh, uh, are you... Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. At Alazar. 
and the last flame wraith. Uh, you're not going to be able to do both Elazar and a flame wraith, but you can hit a couple of the methods. Okay, I'll do that then. Okay. Um, let me just roll saving throws. I get here. confused imagining how uh, far away they are in my head. That's fine. Uh, Elazar's ability. Theater of the mind. Right, so Elazar makes his save. D20 plus... Stop making them save, okay? I am just rolling the dice. Hmm. Uh, you are being punished for those rolls. How come you well, roll good when it's just... you hurting me, but not when it's Oji? Believe me. Well, tell, tell me. Listen. Look, I don't make the rules. Uh, I just uh, watch you do damage. Okay. Um, that right. is actually a really good roll. Yay! Yeah. All right. Well, it's got to add uh, nine last time, right? That is enough to destroy the method that failed the saving throw. Yay! Can I apply him to a crisp? <clears throat> uh, oh, did they not crisp? No. It's a being of smoke, so... Okay, no crisp. Not a lot of crisp. All right, all but right. But just more like... And then... Boom. Okay, that's pretty cool, too. Yeah disappeared with a audible all right uh i take it you're just you did your movement all right yeah ericron um i'm going to make my way over to um august and as i do that um i'm going to say the command word for my dancing longsword um uh, Gwen, ah, what's damn yep. it? I had it for a second. It's all good. I know Gwen what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll throw it out there to get some distance between me and that, um, to attack it. All right, you, you do so. Uh, you throw the blade up in the air, Gwen catches it. This is definitely a time where she wants to get involved. Thanks, Grandma. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh you can roll for your attack on that please 17 to hit that's a hit um can i can i roll uh the with the variant uh the versatile two-handed with this or just the one-handed you you can't roll versatile on a weapon that you're not wielding okay, okay. i was just you're using I, zero hands. You said Gwyn had it, so I was thinking she could use two hands, but well, not quite how it works. No. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. It's already powerful enough as it is. Yeah. And eight damage for that, and then I'll attack again. Attack again. And Fourteen to hit. Uh, that's a hit. Yes. Cool. And 10 damage there. Okay. And then for my haste of, uh, turn, I will cast Cure Wounds on August. Cool. 14. Cool. Love to see it. 14. Nice. 14 for August. All right. Oh boy. 14 for August. Beautiful. I just need I to guess... be said that Atlas yeah. resents having to hold concentration. Welcome to Ron Hey man, that's the. That's the yeah. <laughs> Look, I was looking at my eight HP and thinking that he only had to get to eight HP. You know, whatever. I was thinking about it incorrectly. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's good. Part of part of part of what I was saying about our two, uh, the HP tank and then the not-so-HP tank, but it's still a fucking tank. 
Everything comes to a middle. Right. Oh, I'm um, sorry. I didn't catch uh, how much. Uh, was that 14 heal points? Healing? Yes. Okay. All right. Cool. Wick. Thanks, guys. I'm not dead. <laughs> it's uh, fun not being dead. Hey, Wick. Mm hmm. How would you like some uh, attacks headed your way? That's fine. Bring it. Okay, and I recall you used Reckless, yes? Yep. I always use Reckless because... Okay. Go hard or go home. Yeah, but it's, it's a good thing that... What the actual shit was that? <laughs> it's not even gonna even look at that. It's like, oh, I'm not That's gonna amazing. hit that. Does a 30 hit? Oh, yes. shit. Yes, oh. it does. Uh, if it's magic, just okay. let me know. Or if it's like casting a spell at me, let me know. It it is um, just physical. Just it. Uh, uh, two of the strange appendages just start to slash towards you, almost like a giant mouth of metal and hatred. Okay. Um. But it's not gonna do a lot of damage because you're wick, so it only does five points of damage. Okay. Um. I'm assuming that you want another one where that came from. Yeah, that one still hit. Yep. Man, this, is... this thing can do one thing and does it well. Uh, that's another eight points of damage. Okay. And... That's uh, another eight points of damage. So, as uh, I can't know. two more arms wallop on to you. Um, on top of that, uh, that, would you like the good news or the bad news? I always say the bad news. It doesn't matter. He's um, going to say it in whatever order he wants. That is correct. Uh, the bad news is if you're a flame wraith um, and you're uh, the other guy, um, now it's starting to grab at it and incorporate it into its flesh. Oh, man. There is much screaming, and you can hear the crunching of bones going on in what used to be that area of the field. Should have. Huh. Well, at least he doesn't have any more legendary action. Don't say that. Uh, those uh... charge every round. What? I hate yep. it. Yep. <laughs> um, can we go back where to being big fish in the small pond? How much is um, HP now? What's fun about that? How much is Wick on? He's got 39 hit points. Mm -hmm. I just can't do this rapid fire math. That's why I gave no. it. <laughs> What are the smoke muffies going to do? Probably. Uh, they're going to. Um, they're actually going to disengage well, that seems right. off of you. And they're going to turn their attention towards the one of you that is not in the fray. No. Is it because it's I interesting said I hated you them? speak up like that. Pardon? Is it because I said I hated them? <clears throat> um, no, it's because you're off on your own and they're sadistic little bastards. I don't like that. Also, you did. So they are, they moving out of, are they moving out of uh, range of us? Uh, yeah, they they're... are definitely moving out of range of you guys and they're starting to <laughs> rush towards uh, Glenn. Can we get an attack of opportunity? Yeah. You can. Yeah. Um, Who all gets an attack of opportunity? Atlas isn't within <laughs> range, right? No, Atlas is not in a position to do that. Okay, no. that's what I thought. I don't know if we Attacks can of opportunity. That. Atlas. My brain, well, you are... What was that? Wick can if Wick wants. Yeah, I'll swing at one of them. Okay, go for it. Everyone make your... 15 plus 7. Uh, I rolled an 18 plus, you know, <laughs> 6. That's a hit. 
15. Oh, wait, so, hang on a second. I don't get 15 damage. Hang on. Where's my D8? <laughs> I only wish. Aircron pulls out a secondary longsword that he does have. Plus. Yeah. Four ten. And eight, 18. Okay. 18 will hit. So 23. And. Swing, do I swing, add my rage to that? Home. Yes, of course you do. Do we only so, get to attack one, or do we attack more than one? Yeah, it's you only get to attack once, because it's one reaction. They're running okay. away, yeah. Uh, okay, um... 13. Quick, how much damage did you do? I did 13. 13, okay, cool. So you guys do manage to soften them up uh, before they uh, before they leave you. Um, August. Mm-hmm. You're having a bad day. Oh, it's my turn. Damn. Uh -huh. That comes fast. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know what to do about this bastard. I can't touch him. <laughs> I don't know. You guys have done a lot of touching of him. <laughs> no, but, okay. You made me believe that if I touch him, I'm going to get another 20 damage. Like, oh, I mean, him. yeah, that's definitely... Uh, gonna I mean, happen. But on the other a hand, on, you. You him, on the other hand, if you don't touch him, he will murder all of you. Do you have any distance abilities? Only an arrow and um, lightning lure, but I don't know if I want to bring him closer to me. So mm -hmm. I'm beating the shit out of him. Well, I'm... Huh? I'm beating the shit out of him. Don't do that. Okay. Well, you're prone, so. Oh, am I still prone? Yeah. Yep. I guess I'll get myself out of prone first. I guess I'll Let's stand up. Prone. Right? <laughs> um, guess I'll stand up. Uh, Alright, just stand up. And I'm gonna... Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? <laughs> okay, um... I'm going. Is he is is he, is he within like melee range or where's he at? Oh, it's definitely in melee range. There's so many limbs around you. Pick one. I'm going to inflict wounds. There you go. Nice. And then uh, make your attack roll. Okay. What is my inflict wounds? Where is it? Okay. <laughs> okay. Three. D okay. I gotta actually hit him first. All right, come on, 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 don't you make me... Do I get a set of second level yet? Hang on, one second. I'm sorry. I'm rethinking everything. No, I don't get that at second level yet. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 16 plus uh, 6. 22? 22? That's definitely a hit. Oh my god. I don't know what his thing is anymore. With all the people he's absorbed. And that is... Whereas, okay, it's on a hit target takes 3d10. Yep. Where's my d10s? Sorry, I, I, this was last second. I wasn't prepared. I changed my mind. I don't think anyone was prepared for this. <laughs> no. Where's my other d10? There it is. Okay. Okay, 8, 7, and 4. Uh, Plus eight seven four plus. Get anything? No, there's no. There is okay. no plus. Okay. So eight. that is nineteen. Okay, and then I want to do um, the action hey. surge. One second. Okay. Enjoy your fifteen damage, please. Well, that's why I was doing action surge. I can't do that first. I'm... Okay. Okay, no, I'm still standing. No, no. It's all right. You knew what you first. wanted. I thought, I thought flame shield was just a melee attack. Yeah. So, what do you think a melee spell attack is? Oh. What kind of damage is this? That is he throwing at me? By the way. Fire. This is just fire. He's do on I, fire. Can, he, can I use absorb elements as a reaction when he does that? Um. Oh, I've already used a reaction. Not on no. your turn. Not okay. on your turn. Fine. Um. And then I want to do 
uh, is it action surge? Is that what I'm thinking of? Take another action. Yeah. Okay. That is what action surge and does. I then want to follow it up with second wind. That is a uh, that is a bonus action that would oh. not require action surge. Oh, so never mind. I'm not going to do action surge. I'm just going to do second wind. Okay, you second wind. Okay. Seven plus seven, 14. So I get 14 back. Another 14. All right. Another one. Are you sure you don't want to action surge? You know what? You know what? Action surge, do another fucking, uh, what's it called? Yeah. Because then I can do it. Action surge again, right? No. Yeah. No. (laughs) You can. That's a valid turn. You, okay. you can action search and then inflict wounds. A, oh, wait, no, you can't. No, I can't, can't because it's can't. first one rest, yeah, short rest. Okay. That's yeah. fine. I'll take the damage. I have a, I have a, what's it called, if I have to? Endless okay. uh, loop of sorry. action. I'm sorry, my brain is fried. Yeah. What am I doing? So. I am trying to inflict wounds. Go away. I don't know what you are. Go away. You've, al- you've already inflicted wounds. It's already your first level spell. I know. I have to hit him, though. Didn't you roll to hit him? Not yet. Uh, thirteen plus Thought... six. Hang on. No. What? What was the? No. You what asked was the me. Seven... What, the, what was the seven and eight and the other number you rolled then? That was my first hit, and then I said I was going to action surge and do another inflict wound. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was your first hit. That was with an inflict wounds. Yes. Okay. I inflicted wounds. And, okay, used, so used and that was my round. my four, seven, and... Yeah, so you uh, used the spell this round. Is your yes. second spell a candle? Oh, you can't cast you two spells. Oh, one spell. Well, then I, I can't, I can't yeah. do action surge and do a spell? Yeah. You cannot cast two spells in the same turn unless one of them is a cantrip. But action surge... That is a hard rule in the game. Sorry, you cannot by funny. any means cast two spells in one turn unless one of them is a cantrip. Okay, I guess I was confused about what action shirts could get me. But okay, I'm just going to hit him with pieces then. gets you an additional action, uh-huh. which you can use. If you use that which, on a cantrip... Which, by the way, it shows up under my actions. I understand that. But there is a hard rule in the game that there is absolutely no means to cast two spells in one turn right. unless one is a cantrip. All right. Doesn't matter how you do it. And I said <laughs> I was Sorry, just going to hit him with thesis. I'm getting stressed. You can, you can hit him with thesis. That's, yeah, you can smack the fuck out of him with thesis. Please do. 15 plus 6, 7. That's, that's a good smack. Okay. What's your damage? I don't know anymore. <laughs> what is my fucking? What do I use to hit? Eight. eight plus six. No, eight plus four. Oh. And then give me my damage. <laughs> We're all tired and cranky. <laughs> I'm not even tired. I was just confused. So how much was it total? 12, did you say? 12 was my second hit, yeah. I don't even know what I hit the first time. <laughs> oh, but I get two hits, but right? It was... Yeah. But it was 12 damage, yes? I... Yes, 12 damage for my first hit because I forgot cool. I action charged. I'm going to hit him twice, motherfucker. Uh, 15 how... points. How would you like to do this? Oh, <laughs> no, oh, my I have flavor. Fuck this. See, I'm cranky and I got a flavor. <laughs> you want somebody else to flavor it for you? <clears throat> I mean, we're no, I, believe, I, believe, I believe in her. I don't. I believe in you. Believe in the me that believes in you, Ben. I believe in a thing called love. I don't think I remember how I was sitting. Okay, I inflicted rooms, so I obviously put a hand on him. And you did the slash. I just want to cut the fuck him in half. Can I just cut him straight in half, like horizontally? Um, you can definitely cut him in half multiple times. The, the stress style. of this entire fight is just getting 
to August, and he just just keeps going until the whole fucking creature is just on the ground. Everybody else is like, you know, the fight's over. August is like, I'm not done. Well, Which honestly, like, I, I imagine that like maybe he grabbed him by the fucking face to inflict wounds wounds first, and then he spins around and slices mm -hmm. him right in half. There you go. Which also, like I thought that. I was in rage. Also, you take nine more fire damage. Cool. Because was... while you're doing this, he's still on fire and he's yeah. still on fire again. Because this the version of fire shield that they cast doesn't expire when they die or they and they cannot mm -hmm. lose concentration on it. So. <laughs> so yeah. Um... Why is that our favorite gift? <laughs> do we overdo it a bit sometimes? <laughs> so as you're uh, finishing off what this mass of metal that used to be the fire cultist, um, one of the air cults turns around and sees that by the way, the smoke methods kind of dissipate as he dies. Oh, thank God. Um, oh, thank the, God. The air cultist uh, turns and decides this is a wonderful opportunity for him to score some points on a weakened party. And as he swoops down, you hear this pop, pop, and he goes down um, go. as your new friend. Um, uh, Yannick as your new friend uh, Yannick, Yannick takes a couple shots and they do clean up down below having had a considerably less harrowing experience than what the hell was happening up top that hill no, we nailed it and uh, I would Appreciate if people roll an investigation check, please. Ew. How did all my D8s get up here? Go away. Oh. Whoa. That was oh. a... <laughs> Not one. August is too busy. Uh, three <laughs> for me? I'm just kind of like, ooh, I am bleeding. All I'm right. also probably going to go um, over and put, like, tap out the fire that's on August. Well, are yeah, they still attacking yeah. the caravan, I guess, is our question, but I'm sure that's probably the perception. They are, uh, well, the, the caravan fight is getting cleaned up, and whatever stragglers are left are getting either taken care of or routed. The rest of the cultists have, they, 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 they are. Not 20. On investigation. Yeah, so investigation is plus four. Did you four. say investigation or did you say uh, perception? Investigation. Investigation. Still not one, but I did get it. It's a total seven. All right. So um, once the, the, the massive me metal flesh creature that used to be Elazar starts to um, calm down and stop twitching um, with a couple extra angry slashes uh, by August whenever it starts to do. Um, so the first thing that you notice is Elazar's pipe on the ground. An ornate little pipe. Um, but it, uh, is his. Um, he also has on his person... Is this looting us? Money. Pardon? Is this us looting the bodies? I'm assuming you're looting what is remaining of the bodies, yes? Yes, God, we need money. Because sometimes we forget. <laughs> If there, yeah. I would gladly pass up money for actual items. While everybody's looting, can, can I just be like chucking help. rocks at like air cultists before they get shot from like the top of wherever we are? <laughs> just clunk one in the head when he turns towards you. Pop, pop. 
Yeah, I just want to be a menace. My dancing sword is still up. <laughs> My dancing sword is still up there, so I just imagine it just. <laughs> Her name is Gwen. Okay, so person. My dancing um, sword. I will call the, the what I want. <laughs> I don't think she responds to whatever you want. She grabs the sword. She is not the sword. <laughs> you, you. That's a conversation you should have with her. <laughs> <laughs> because she has a completely different perspective on the matter. Okay. Um. Alizar has on him a uh, pouch with 25 platinum pieces within it. Oh, shit. And he has five opals, fire opals, because, you know, on brand, each worth 50 gold pieces each, and a scroll with the spell flame arrows on it. Okay. And as well, I'm going to actually roll for this. <clears throat> actually, even better. I'll have you roll for this. How do you, do you guys want to roll? I'm sure you guys want to roll. You guys in, like rolling in, dice. Yeah. In a game about rolling dice, I would like to roll dice, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to say you guys can roll some dice here. So I just saw an article where it complained that the DMs rolled to make us roll too much. And I'm like, excuse you. What? I like that article. That's not valid. It's valid. You can't roll too much. Um, mm. For example, it is not recommended to make you guys roll on trivial shit. Okay. Because all that is doing is waiting for someone to roll a natural one and punish you for doing something like going to your bedroom to try to sleep. You know, that sort of thing. Um, there, There is such a thing as forcing too many rolls on yeah, too many trivial I like things. I can see that, but sometimes it's just fun. Mm -hmm. It is not always fun to like you sh whenever you make a roll it's for dramatic tension you never want to make a roll for something that it doesn't matter i i rolled a drink for my cup yeah and then well, yeah all I mean, that is all, yeah. i roll that fail every day <laughs> i'd be happy to um, fail that kind of a roll i, I think that'd be like, easily can the first time trust me on this it, it gets old after a while mm -hmm. um I would appreciate if somebody rolls me a D100. I can do that. And if you roll a 1 to 20, re-roll it, because I'm just, you're not getting that roll. Fuck that. Because we want it or because we don't want it? Uh, I have a reason. Six away from the the magic number. 63. 63 is a great roll. Um, who wants to roll me 2d6, please? Here. I can do that. Okay. You guys each want to roll 1d6? Nah, just let Josh roll. Okay. Yeah, please, no, please don't. Like sure. it. It just... A 1 and a 3. A 1 and a 3. Okay. And I need someone to roll me a 1d6, please. That's a lot of money. Yeah, you guys are getting paid. You can get that. What is it? A 1d6? 1d6, yeah. Amber. Oh, okay. A 1. A 1. A one. Wait, what did we get for Matt's roll? Hmm? What did we get for Matt's roll? Uh, 63, that just tells me that we've already moved on from that. Oh, I thought that was a thing that I missed you saying. Sorry. Yeah. Can someone roll me another percentile dice, please? And try to roll high. Anyone? I, mean, I, can do, I don't mind doing it again, but I want I'll roll it. everybody to get a chance. I'm sorry, um... Is it only the percentile, or is it the D like a D100? It's a D100. Okay. That would be 60. Oh, 69! Hey! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. 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 That's funny who I have a number. 
Nice. All right. Um, by, by our powers combined. Okay. I'm just going to know. By our... Okay. 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 Roll, okay. Roll me another percentile die. Someone else. I want to do it. Okay. Yeah, 69. 69! Oh my god. How do I do a 100 with a percentile die? You roll a d10 uh, and, a, and a um and a percentile. Oh, okay. yeah. Eighty-three. Like, yeah, yeah, you got it. What did you roll? Eighty-three. Eighty-three. Okay. So, um. You find amongst the bodies a a scorched pouch. As soon as you hold it in your hands, however, you notice that the pouch is actually soft to the touch. Um, It doesn't look like it's been singed. It just looks like some soot got on the outside. And as you open it up, all you see inside is complete blackness. (gasps) Mm. When you reach inside the pouch, however, you realize that it is actually a bag of holding. Finally! Nice. And inside it, you find the aforementioned uh, coins. Okay. And... Okay. Um... Uh, let me see here. <clears throat> That's 400 gold and then 10 more platinum? Yes. 10 PP. Let me see, is this all the... That's a Two Shoto Todorokis! Mm-hmm. Um... Okay. Is that so? All right, there's one roll left. Somebody. Roll me 1d4. Yeah, Tony, you roll. I was asking if Laura yeah. wanted to make it. Okay. Oh. Okay, I wasn't going to roll any of the loot because I wasn't looting. Sure. I rolled a 2. A 2. Okay. Inside... You find a spell scroll inscribed on that spell scroll is a very, very complicated incantation, one that takes an hour to cast. It is a scroll of true resurrection. (gasps) That's going in the vault. (laughs) <laughs> That's a get out of jail free card if I ever saw one. Bro, we gotta make a loot bolt now. Yeah. You rolled a ninth level spell scroll on the treasure list. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. 69, baby. Yep. Who can use it now? Uh. You. Mm-hmm. Uh, me. That's it. Oh, Cleric and Druid. Mm, yeah. 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 So, not not Atlas. Nope. Definitely not Atlas. Glenn could or you could. I'm sorry, but, uh. Yep. Atlas would be rather picky about using. A true resurrection spell <laughs> if that were given to him anyway. We can bring back the lich. Now, if he doesn't, he 
like being a lich. He kind of chooses to be that way. Yeah, he just vibing. Yeah. <laughs> well, bring back home, that. Grandpa. Being a um, being a lich um is usually a thing by choice. Okay. <laughs> Um, he would be very unhappy to find that his hard work at attaining immortality has been reversed. You <laughs> no, I, I yeah. almost <laughs> said, you're not born that way? <laughs> and I you're don't think... You can't ask someone why they're liches. Mm. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think casting a true resurrection spell on a spellcaster that's powerful enough to become a lich and cast <laughs> all the spells necessary to get there is a smart move because they <laughs> tend to be very vindictive about it and have the ability uh, to vindict. <laughs> okay, here's what we do. We kill Wick's grandpa, then we bring him back to life, and then we kick his ass again. I'd rather just kill him the one time and then not just be done with it. If we do it one time, we can do it again. I... Yeah, you can do it again. One time would be <laughs> enough. That said... Um, you touch a creature that has been dead for no longer than 200 years and that died for any reason except old age. Hmm. Oh. Any reason. Oh. No, Do we know that any, anybody that has died? I think this is something we save for one of us dies. <laughs> yeah. I'm not just passing this out graveyards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I mean, you want to come back to life? Just to give you an idea, the cost of the material components of that spell is 25,000 gold. <gasps> One diamond. <sighs> so. Yeah. 25,000 is... gold went into the diamond to make this scroll. Mm hmm. This is what Panic. This is what Panic used, Amber. We should just frame this and use this as decor in our house. <laughs> vault room. Someone vault would room, brand vault room. our house and be out of here. Bro, look what I found. Faruki would be gone. We would never see him again. Wick would be very sad. <laughs> Top. Expensive toilet paper. <laughs> I mean, I have my diploma hanging up. I don't feel like it's any different. <laughs> uh, 25,000 gold pieces is actually probably more than your tuition was. So we can actually never use what it. What if yeah. I used a lot of money on my meal plan? <laughs> I mean, I did take out student loans. <laughs> we got it in a scholarship. Yeah. <clears throat> we poor boys. I'm talking about my real life. No, I know. I'm just talking. <laughs> we're talking about our characters. I just like the irony that he's putting on this too. He's just he has this resurrection spell, and he's like, "Well, there goes my." There goes my get out of jail free card. All right, so he's never um, truly loved someone, and it shows. <laughs> so after the horroring experience, horroring? Top of the cliff thing, sorry, you uh, we're very tired. You managed to. <laughs> we are. Uh, you managed to. Uh, get back in touch with your fellow uh, soldiers down below. And I think here's a perfect time to end this session, because oh fuck this session needs to end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm gonna stop the recording this... in three, two, one. <laughs>